We on Sarnetta Studios. You know, sometimes you got to touch the computer, probably to bring it back in. We on Sarnetta Studios, and um, let me um, start off first with my intro song. I guess I got a lot of songs, and uh, we're gonna start off with this. I think, I mean, you might, you might like this song, or you might not. It might be too hard for you, too, too militant. We're gonna find out. Why you don't have none of my songs? Oh God, nigga. God, nigga. <laughs> Bars. Peace to the God, inshallah. Yeah, I was built with a gnat, turn to mind the battle of these beasts. Heart built like Malcolm X with Kaepernick knees. Shotgun to the cypher, double tap MCs. Moonwalk on these niggas in my football cleats. Blueprint to take over. Nigga, I thought this was over. I stay woke like I'm from Queens and heard the bridge is over. Like I'm from Brooklyn, two to your chest, casting over. When he get hit with that venom that's spewing out the Cobra. Niggas told Barack they wanted me to get released. But they could have freed Osada with a couple tweets. Fuck this woke shit, wanna blow, this what you need. A tatted bitch that can twerk and then start a couple beefs. But how can you be God if people don't believe in you? Turn cheeks to the ops, not believable. Go, Go hard, I'll break in jail just to eat the food. Single file, ball and chain, dressed like Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Niggas Beetlejuice. turn to house niggas, then they turn to Jesus. Uh -huh. If I see him, I fuck him up for lying to our leaders. Step to him with the cannon, look like he on cheaters. Make it look like Central Park when they come see us. Jews don't like blacks, nigga, you can ask them. Don't care if the Holocaust did or didn't happen. Niggas say that they a god until they see the cracking. Fuck 50 the whole block, call it OG Mackin. I love cold, I'm just glad that I'm around. Honestly, I wouldn't give a fuck if I let Nas down. Still missing that 99 Nostradamus sound. With my family, I don't give a fuck about these other clowns. Step out to the label with the gall. Hit the pizza spot and spit on the floor. Radio Raheem, ain't no black people. People on the wall, shoot up the White House and Fox News, fuck them all. Tell LeBron to retire the way I ball Laker. I ain't checking in the shit cause I don't talk to traders. I know your girl need a help, but now she owe a favor. One phone call to swap your team, Cole's neighbor. I don't care who the best is lyrically. Blacks are more likely to get the death penalty. What do you think it says to black kids mentally? Bow to that white Jesus on the wall or is it me? This is real dog, take cake and bear witness. There'll be two different different outcomes if we get sentenced. Boycotting the Grammys was no gimmick, but we fought just so Macklemore could win it over Kendrick. Bullshit. Christ, we don't hate you cause you're white. Nah. Look at your history, we should have killed y'all on sight. Kill you shouldn't all. be punished for what your ancestors did, never. but you'll suffer like they should have if you don't make it right. Yeah. We're just not alike, never. you never sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Until I get a check, a cracker shouldn't hold the mic. Nah, Being right. black, your soul can be cold as ice in a white world. Gotta stay hard, Dolomite. I think Eminem, the whites represent Hitler. We'll stand up against that crescent star like RZA. I should put Jordan Lucas in a cross-face crippler for thinking that a song can make you crackers get the picture. Uh, the gall. Why y'all hating on Jamal when he paved the way for crackers like you to be a star? Yeah, the gall. Why y'all hating on Jamal when he paved the way for crackers like y'all to be stars? Uh. All right, family, you already know we got to start this thing off with a hot track. Hey, there she go, Queen Throne. Come on, girl. I know you see me calling you, baby. I'm calling you like three, four times. You're not picking up on my call. It's all good. Shout out to Sister Ashe Divine. I see the queen in the building. Shout out to Queen's Throne. Shout out to the family. Um, Who else in here? Let me see. Oh, Monica Lamb, of course. Shout out to Monica Lamb. A brother put in the chat room yesterday when I was going live. He said, yo, Sa, you got to get Tommy Sotomayor over here. You know what I'm saying? As soon as he said that, I said, man, I like that. Let me call up Tommy. I called him that night, called up Jabari. I said, yo, we got to get this shit cracking, man, because we got a Donald Trump supporter who goes in hard body. And then we got brother Jabari, who's anti-Trump. So, man, this is going to be great. Sit back, relax, get your popcorn. If any of you know who Tommy Sotomayor is, you know how he gets it in and, and he have his backup. So we're going to find out what's going on. So I'm going to introduce you. Peace oh, you and black power to you, brother Tommy. You got to do me a favor, man. Uh-oh, what's going on? You can't play that song not let me play one of mine. 
Go play one of yours, man. What you got, Tommy? What you got for us? Hey, you, and, you, and you can judge it. This song's because this <laughs> what all you and your fans do. You want to have, have a DJ battle or something? Yes, you know. See, everybody want to hate on me. So <laughs> but everybody want to hate on me, Brother Jabari. So I got a theme song. Uh-oh. That, that I got a theme song so y'all get to listen to this theme song. This song is called Hate On Me. You can pick it up. Oh, if you just go If you just go to uh, Bandcamp. Uh, dot com forward slash Tommy Sotomayor. You can get all my heat. This song is called Hate On Me. Check it out. Let's get it. It's Mr. Madness, baby. Marbury. Dick Jones. And now they call me fire. That's right. Yeah. That's what they call me now. Fire. Oh. Oh. Come on. Come on. Yeah. If they gon' store some story, I thought I told you. you don't want it with me, dog. West side be the hardest, regardless of all of the stress and strife. I'ma try to hold on to my precious yeah. life. So if the cops come around to arrest us, right? Yo, they better be prepared for a fight tonight. Cause if it's on and something ain't right in here, I'ma do my best to make one of them disappear. Yeah. So if it's clear, keep it moving, shot it. Cause we didn't come here to fight, yo, we just came to party. Then take somebody home, cause we just trying to keep it talk tonight. And anybody out of line, get Stop tonight. That's right. So don't let the suits fool you, cause I got something out in the trunk to shoot through you. It's funny, cause I ain't got nothing to prove to you, and you don't really want it with me, dog. Now do you. Oh, why you wanna play them games? Stop playing them. Why you wanna hate on me? You hate dog. I just wanna do my thing. So me, man. Why you wanna hate oh. on me? Oh, I'm not the one to play. Don't play me, man. So why you wanna hate on me? <laughs> Why you hating on me? I don't understand. Could it be because your girl think that I'm the man? Or could it be because your mom is my biggest fan? And your sister keeps saying, can she touch my hand? Dog, I don't even want no beat. And I don't think you really want to see me on no streets. I don't think you want to see me pull in front of your place. With the heat and pull that thing out in front of your face. See, every different place I hit, six chicks on a roll. But it ain't because of me, it's because my record went gold. But back then, when I couldn't get no show. At the same time, when I couldn't get no hoes. But now I'm putting up. A high type yeah. figures. Now I got these white girls saying I like niggas. I'm guessing that's what happens when you rhyme type nigga. That's why I'm trying to stay up in the line like nigga. Chica. Why you wanna play them games? Why you playing though? Oh, me. why you hate me? I just wanna do my thing. I just so wanna do my thing. Why you wanna me. hate me? I'm not the one to play. I'm not. Hey, wait a minute. I ain't not the no one to play. Ain't a damn thing. Change. Ain't no change. Why you wanna play that game? Every time you do a song, you gotta say my name. I was letting it go, but now I gotta put a stop to that. Cause fake rappers get pop for that. And they gon' have to call the cops for that. Black nigga. Cause when it's problems, I'm on top of that. I keep a strap like a dyke do down in Nick Town. If you're standing around and you're bound to get a clown. So duck down, bro. Cause these jokers is wild. But they can't do nothing to me but have a coke and a smile. I know they foul, even though most of them hitting the white line. They might write tight lines, but they ain't like. Like mine. So please, dog, don't even compare yourself. And you can talk about it if you ain't been near yourself. So if you want to battle, you better prepare yourself. Yeah. I have your ass get to dare yourself, fake ass niggas. Oh, why you want to play them games? Why you want to hate them Why me, God? I just want to do my thing. I just want to do me, man. Why you want to hate Why you hate me? I'm not the one to play. I ain't not the one to play on no me. Why you hate, man? This goes out to everybody that hate fire and ice, baby. It ain't no, it, it really ain't no limit right here. No. I just really don't understand why, why you hate or why she hate. Uh, why the nigga over there hate? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Every, everybody talking about nigga, nigga hate. N- niggas don't hate no more, man. Niggas just disgruntled. Niggas just disgusted with you. 
Man, I, I just don't even understand how this all goes down. Niggas don't hate no more, man. Let's get it. Man, man, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Man, powerful, powerful music, brother. I love it. I love it. Hey, man, we're going to have this um, political discussion today. And um, the first thing we want to talk about is um, Donald Trump. Like, what is your position on Donald Trump, um, brother? Let's go with Jabari first. Brother Jabari, what is your position on Donald Trump? Well, I, I actually think that Donald Trump is probably one of the most difficult presidents, one of the worst presidents that the United States has seen. And, and I wanna say that that is a, a really hard thing for a black man to say, right? <laughs> because I, I'll honestly say that most of them have clearly not had anything close to the interest of the African black community um, at heart. Um, but I think that Donald Trump is literally an existential challenge to the United States. I think that another four years of Donald Trump, another four months of Donald Trump with nearly um, 140,000 Americans in the grave. You don't think that Donald Trump- From his mismanagement of the coronavirus. You don't think that dangerous. Donald Trump is, um, is like more transparent than any other president that stepped up here? Like, at least you know what you're gonna get when you see Donald Trump. But I mean, that's like me saying to you, Sonetta, I'm gonna pull a gun out and shoot you right in the face. I mean, you don't say at least I knew you were gonna shoot me in the face. I mean, you still got shot in the face. The reality is that I believe that it is true that Donald Trump says the things out loud that many white racists say in quiet. That is true. But I don't think that he should be given credit for his blatant rampant racism, his blatant rampant misogyny, and his poor handling of the economy, the administration, the judicial system. All right, we ain't gonna go too deep in that yet. All of it. All right, let me bring on Tommy Sotomayor. Um, Tommy, what is your stance? What is your position on Donald Trump? Uh, I look at Donald Trump right now and I say, what choices do we have? The first time when he came, we had Hillary Clinton, who was herself behind some of the worst policies that ever hit black people. Then I say to myself, who do we have now? Joe Biden. Joe Biden, the man who, when he came on a black radio station, told the guy when he asked him simply, I want to bring you back since you've cut us off short. And I want to bring you back and ask us, why should black people vote for you? And his response to them was, if you don't vote for me, if you don't know who you want to vote for by now, then you ain't black. And he was getting off of his show with The Breakfast Club so his wife could do a cooking show. So that's how important we were. Hillary Clinton and him, along with her husband, Bill Clinton, got together to write what is known as the crime bill. The crime bill in 1994 destroyed black families. Right now we have a man who's done something like release a whole lot of black people who had been in jail. A man who has went in and decided he wanted to do prison reform, something that we couldn't get under Barack Obama. A man who encourages black families instead of like Barack Obama, encouraging homosexuality. Say whatever you want to, but if you look at who we have a per a going against him, which is Joe Biden, if you would vote for Joe Biden with all the stuff you know about his history, then that just means the Democrats have you in their pocket and they can throw any candidate. And remember, Barack Obama did a eulogy for a man by the name of Robert Byrd. Hillary Clinton said she went to Robert Byrd and talked to Robert Byrd whenever she needed advice. Robert Byrd was a ex, not just Klan member. Robert Byrd was a grand wizard. That's your Democratic Party. Damn, Jabari, man. I told you to say no lightweight. You want to respond I, to that, Jabari, before I ask course, the question? Of Get course, ahead, of course, of course, of course. I think that it's possible. I'm not sure how young, how old 
our dear brother Tommy is. This is all just for me and on my face, brother. I'm an old I, dude. This just for me and get watched this, out. It'd be this, all great. This, this the just for men too, brother. So we, <laughs> we need to buy it in, in bulk so that we can save some money. But let me say that um, it is true that Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden and many, many others were part of the crime bill. Many, many others. Um, and so I think that uh, it is fair to critique them for that. It is fair to say, if this was your policy, what is your policy now? Um, mm -hmm. But uh, you have to remember that at the same time that those individuals are calling for tough on crime policies, Donald Trump was asking for black children to get the death penalty without even being convicted. There is no comparison. We are comparing apples and arsenic. That's what we're comparing. And Don't. so I want to be really clear about the fact that if you look at both of their, their um, platforms, you are not going to see a man, first of all, the concept of Donald Trump is supporting Black families. I have no idea. I would love to hear how you substantiate that. Because the one thing that we can say about Donald Trump, now remember, I'm a New Yorker. I've met Donald Trump on several occasions. I've studied him since the 80s. Perhaps it's because you're not in New York that you may be a little unfamiliar and you're looking at the apprentice shine that he got from when he was on NBC. But the reality is that Donald Trump has been antithetical to families from day one. He's the guy that tells his young niece that she's stacked when he sees her in a, in a dressing room. He's the guy that goes to see children as young as 13 in their bathing suits and sometimes nude because he can. He's the guy that, uh, see, look at Tommy's face. He doesn't even know this sure, stuff. No, no, no. He's the guy. No, no, he's the guy. Wait, no, not finished. People. Not finished. Not finished. Once you he's brought up my guy, face. He's the guy that has five children with three um, wives. Sam and he was and with the, 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 the mistress while the other wife was there in public. He's the guy that slept with a porn star while his child was less than a few years old. He's the guy that has actually um, attacked the one black family that sat in the White House by questioning his credentials to be there, by questioning whether he was even um, a, a, an American, by asking to see his grades. Donald Trump asking to see someone's grades when we now know about how poorly he's done? This man is racism incarnate. And for you to big him up in any way, dear brother, I'm gonna assume that you're ignorant of his past. I'm gonna assume that because I'd like to stay friends with you. Let's I'm hear what you, let's hear Tommy. Ignorant. Let's hear Tommy respond. Yes. This, you're saying this with Bill Clinton taking several trips to Petto Island. I'm confused at why you would bring up someone's behavior, especially as a black man a black man who has black men that you know who have children by different women. So I guess we shouldn't be able to run for politics either since black people have bad things on them like Angela Stanton who just got out of jail. I guess she shouldn't run for politics. I can't believe you as a black man is talking about what someone might have done when they were younger and not talking yeah. about what these people did when they were creating policies. Joe Biden was creating policy when Donald Trump said that those boys to get the death penalty, he wasn't the only one who felt that way. There were black people in New York who felt the exact same way because they thought they had done it. No, that is actually true. That, that is actually it. true. Hold on a minute. Now, you the bar. Throw, hey, you froze on the screen too, Tommy. And just forced me not to say anything. You froze now on I the screen, to... Tommy. Tommy, you froze on the screen, but we can still hear you. Then oh, you I, I don't know. Yeah, you freezing okay. up. Yeah, well, you well the, whole thing, the whole thing is, He's talking about what he believes this man. And when you bring up he married three times, like I'm not, I'm sorry, but these aren't political discussions. This is a witch hunt at that point. This makes no sense that an individual will say this when Bill Clinton got head by his intern while in office. I don't understand what you're saying. Barry, uh, uh, Barack Obama was the cocaine theme. Let's not do that. Let's talk about policies. Let's talk about what a person has done. If you're going to sit here and play media takeout in a debate, then fine. Then you do that to everyone. Brother Jabari? Let me say to you really clearly that, um, first of all, I truly believe that we should not vote for Bill Clinton in 2020. Oh, wait a minute. He's not on the ballot. 
Oh, I'm sorry, Tommy. Maybe you were back in the 90s. No, Bill we're talking about somebody great. who's a part Bill of Clinton's not on the ballot. So uh, you both you and I can critique his record. Both you and I can critique his record and the things that he's done that may or may not have been immoral. I, I, I would sit with you on that. But he's not on the ballot. And I want to also um, recognize that with all of the, you're, you're talking about Bill Clinton going to Petal Island. Donald Trump was the one that bigged up um, uh, uh, um, the same person that created um, uh, uh, Petal Island. No, you don't realize do you can't bring up you can't bring up um, the the folks that actually were abusing women and not. I mean, you've opened up Donald Trump's record of over twenty women accusing him of rape. That's what you're bringing up. And we've heard him say that he likes to grab women by the pussy. We've heard that. That's not a that's not a rumor. So I don't. I'm a I don't grown know man. I'm not gonna let that Clinton. bother me. Because I'm sorry. Clinton, As a grown black man, Clinton, I don't see how I can. Hold on, hold on. It bothers Clinton, me. Clinton. Clinton has nothing. Bill Clinton and his record. You know, there's some people, and I want you to understand the structure of this. These are Republican talking points. There are some people that, when we talk about Trump, by the way, he's. It's interesting that also Tommy is using talking points of 2016 instead of talking points from 2020. So one of the things that the Republicans did to attack Hillary Clinton is they looked at Bill Clinton's record while not looking at Trump's record. Trump was the one that was running against Bill Clinton. I talked about Joe Biden's record. You skipped it. Wait, 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 wait. You were the one that brought Bill Clinton in this. I didn't. And and let's go further. You're you're saying um, he has several children by different women. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about what he did when he was with them in public, the way that he degraded them, the way that he routinely degrades women. Now, Tommy, I'm a New Yorker. So I watched this. I told Trump to his face that I disliked him. And I want you to also recognize, uh, he, he says that um, Barack Obama is a cocaine fiend. I don't know where you got that one from. He also said there were black leaders who also believed that the Central Park Five needed the um, the the death penalty. Oh, source, 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 source. You better source up, brother. This is out at a TV studio. <laughs> I was have... marching. I was marching then. All right, I let's let's hear. Find, let's hear you... Tommy because wait, wait, I want to bring another sentence. question. Let to me the finish the sentence. I want you to corroborate that because that's a Republican talking point that does not have a source. First off, those are Democratic talking points that don't have a source. Second off, I came in talking about Joe Biden and what he did in the 1994 crime bill. I came in talking about what he did when on the campaign trail. And we ignored that. You didn't talk about what Donald Trump has done in the last four or eight years. You're talking about this man's character with a woman. And let me tell you something. As a grown black man who we sit around and listen to rap all day, and most of us come from single parent households, how dare I sit up here and say this man married three women or said grab him by the pussy. We rap about grabbing him by the pussy all day. So whenever a black man tries to talk about that, I feel like he's full of crap. Okay. Um, we're going to change it up. I'm, let, me, let me ask you, Tommy, what are your thoughts on Donald Trump's record dealing with the coronavirus. What are your thoughts on that? The well, crisis, the coronavirus. Well, I'm, still one of, I'm still one of those people who say, is it real or not, or is it imagined? Because I found it funny that the Democrats decided that for some odd reason, when it was time to march for injustice and racism, all of a sudden the coronavirus didn't matter. All of a sudden they was telling people, go on out and march and be a part of these funerals. Do you understand that in February, there were several family members uh, across the United States, a uh, family throughout the United States, who, because they were uh, honoring the COVID, uh, uh, the, the six feet and all that stuff, they were honoring that. They had funerals in which there were very few people who were coming there. All of a sudden, George Floyd dies. And when George Floyd dies, we now have a funeral that has, uh, what was it, 8,000 people there? No one cares. So when you ask what his response was, the first time he spoke about the coronavirus, the Democrats are the ones who came at him and said, hey, he's, he's taking this too serious. It's not real. So then when he came back and decided it wasn't real, it was real from what everybody's saying. But when you're asking me personally, I'm not one who believes that it's this big thing that's, well, it's out there killing people. They say it is, but I think it's something, I believe in government conspiracies. Sorry, 
And I believe in a lot of things that we see that are going on right now are being pushed to move us where they want us to. I don't believe in it. Uh, brother Jabari, well, same well, thing with you. Go ahead, brother. You let me, let me just simply say that my own family was one that could only have 10 people at a funeral. My father died one month ago and we were only able to have 10 people there. So this was really, really painful, very difficult. We are in the midst of a pandemic. However, I think that you've done something interesting. You've made it seem like the marches that have been dealing with police and justice are Democrat strategies, democratic strategies. Yes. Black people did that. Black Lives Matter did that. that they're not in, in control. The Democratic Party didn't tell people to get in the streets. And so I think that there are people on the left of our political spectrum that recognize that injustice exists and said, we now have a moment where we make, can make some change. But it wasn't Democrats that told people to get in the streets when they saw a video of another Black man being snuffed out. There, there's something that you're going to have to do, Tommy. We're not on your channel. You're on Sign of the TV Studios. Source up or shut up there, brother. I mean, you're making a lot of claims that have no sources whatsoever. I want you to show me how the Democrats told people to get in the streets. And I also want us to recognize something very interesting. Tommy is still questioning whether the coronavirus exists when there have been 135,000 Americans, mostly Black and Latino, who have died. And that is reprehensible. Let's be clear that the first death didn't occur until late, Feb late February, early March. We're not even talking about six months of deaths. By the time the election rolls around, we will likely have somewhere near 210,000 Americans dead, 3 million inflicted, including myself with the coronavirus. I'm not sure where you think the, um, the, the conspiracy is. I also want, I believe you're in Atlanta. Your mayor has the coronavirus right now. This, is, this stuff is real. It's real and it's killing people. And you know, when Jabari Osaze sounded the alarm because he lives in New York, and I could read just a simple writing on the, on the wall. Some people were saying that I must be scared. I'm into a conspiracy and everything. Well, now that the pandemic has moved on in large extent from New York, you're gonna see bodies drop in lots of states that were pushing to open quickly because Donald Trump is ignoring science. That's what happened. He has the deaths of 135,000 Americans on his soul, if he indeed has one. I was asked, what did I think about the president's response? I said nothing about Democrat. You did. What? I, I spoke about how I felt about it, but I will tell you when you said Black Lives Matter did something, that was Black folks. First off, Black Lives Matter ain't Black folks. As a matter of fact, a Jew by the name of George Soros. And if you look on what their talking points are, hopefully you tell them that because I didn't know we were going to be sarcastic. But if we're going to use sarcasm to win our debates, let's do that then. One of the biggest tenets of Black Lives Matter is to destroy the patriarchy. And since you want to talk about what it would destroy, it would destroy black folks who are already destroyed because of lack of fathers. Now, it says everything other than taking up for black men. It takes up for black men who act like they got their women and they got penises, but we're supposed to recognize them as women, calling them trans women. It talks about gays. It talks about everything else but the black community uh well the people who they're going around saying that they're championing for those black men who are dying they keep on going to gay causes i don't know why any black person would sit there and act like black lives matter is actually for black people when you've seen many of those cases where things were burned down and they turn around and find out it was some white person who started the fire to make black people look bad but I'm going to sit up here and listen to a man try to tell me about Black Lives Matter when I know for a fact one of the things that's destroying black folks is lacks of fathers. And the fact that something like Black Lives Matter is rolling off a black man's tongue as if it's a great thing when it wasn't started by us, it wasn't financed by us, and it, it has nothing to do with the building of us. So you can have Black Lives Matter and Joe Biden if that's what you like. Brother Tommy, I'm sure right out of camera shot you have a tinfoil hat on the ground. Because for real, 
The Would you like me to read what it the says on the Black Lives Matter website? Let's not be sarcastic. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on. Let's not be sarcastic on that one. I can thing, let him read the, the Black Lives Matter website. I didn't make that up. Let's not be sarcastic when we're talking about points. Like because people really, are dying I, over I, this. I the nerve there, Tommy. No, listen, brother, because people are dying over this. And if you don't, let's not be sarcastic over facts. But let's not be sarcastic over facts. So let's go. So let's go. Let me let me give you some Jesus answers. Christ, you're being sarcastic First of all, over a fact. I want let him, you. Let him speak, Tommy. You're going to get it in. You, let him go. I want you. I want you to source up or shut up. Let us see you. I think I just let said I can you, read it for let's you. Let's see you. Let's see you <laughs> substantiate that George Jesus Soros. Jesus Christ. Is, let us. You done? I can't Just believe this. Just put the tinfoil hat on, Tommy. Just put it on. Yo, yo, he, he went black and green, but he still made a tin. Like he still this made a tin. Insane. Because the stuff that you're spouting comes directly out of a, a nether orifice of the it's Republican up Party. It's on their website. It is not based in fact. It's on their so website, let, man. Let me say this. I'm going to run a list of the things that you need to source. Here's oh number my three. God. Here's number three that you need to source. George Soros is behind Black Lives Matter. Let's see your source. Because that is a Republican. In fact, it's not even a regular Republican talking point. You are on the fever swamp's edge of the Republican Party that George Soros is, the, is behind Black Lives Matter. So that's what you need to do. I, I want you, you did say that. I want you to demonstrate that. Because you continue to say things that maybe you read on a Facebook post, but you have not done your analysis. And let's be very clear. I did not give a critique of tacit or untacit support of Black Lives Matter. I simply said that the marches in the streets have not been controlled by the Democrats. You, and I said that they were have been largely organized by Black Lives Matter. That's the point. So you're trying to shift really quick back and forth. You're talking to a brother that doesn't, I don't get motion sickness. I, I hear what you're saying. And when you shift from talking point to talking point, I can follow you. Okay. So the okay. only, wait a minute, wait a minute. The only reason he spoke for half of the time I was speaking. The only reason why I brought up Black Lives Matter is because you said that the Democrats did not believe in COVID. And then they, they told everyone to get in the streets. And I said, dear brother, that was organized by Black Lives Matter. That's why I mentioned it. Then you wanted to talk about it not being created by Black people, when we know that three Black women are the founders. Then you wanted to talk about George Soros, which is only something you're going to find in a right-wing Reddit forum. Brother, you have to do more research. And when you do the research, source up. Because I'm, I guarantee you that this community is going to look at what you're saying and say that source is junk. You gotta, you have a large following, dear brother. You're going to have to be more responsible with the things that you say. Okay, let me say this right quick, um, brother Tommy. Um, what is your stance on the whole thing that took place with George Floyd? How did you feel about that um, situation, there, brother? I'm not gonna let you get out of this one. This man, first off. All right, he, you want to finish this first? Yes, because he go likes ahead, to. Go ahead. I, I, I would assume that in, in a debate, we could just have a respectful one. He keeps throwing out these little, you need to source up and you need to do this and do that, but he's not really dealing with the issue. And I keep trying to just talk to him like a normal person because I don't know what the hell this is. But it's on the website, which tells you exactly, since I'm supposed to source up, it says exactly what they're trying to do on the website. Number two, I didn't say the COVID was the Democrats. I said, I find it strange that the Democrats at first were saying we need to shut things down. But then all of a sudden, when the racist incidents were coming out, it was the Democrats who, was, who were asking people and encouraging people to go out and march, to go to these funerals, to go out and do all these things, which if we had common sense, if we wanna talk about Donald Trump, if Donald Trump was out there saying, let's have 100,000 people at rallies and stuff like that, they would turn around and once the spread of Corona got bigger because of it, they'd say he was doing something insane by asking people during a pandemic to get together in large numbers. But the Democrats were asking people to get together 
in large numbers. And they were telling them to go out in the streets. I'm not understanding that. That's all I said. At no point did I say the Democrats were behind COVID. So when someone sits and have a discussion and they have a dishonest discussion and they're supposed to just keep saying things. And when they kept saying, uh, uh, source up, well, the source is Black Lives Matter website. And I encourage every black person to go and read the mission statement on Black Lives Matter website. That's all I ask you to do. I don't have to say anything sarcastic or smart. And the reason I'm emotional about this one, because when I see someone being misled, especially black folks being misled by people who are making money off of them while they die, who are encouraging them to do things that is hurting them as a culture. That's what the Democrats are doing. I will not stand by and watch black folks be down with the LGBT, down with the trans movement. These things take the focus off of what it is that we've been needing for years. And any black person or black man that's down with these gay movements, then you can go on a bit with it yourself. Because I think it's sad to hear a black man talk about it like it's something good. I, I think that um, you you possibly didn't listen very well. But you didn't listen very well. So I wish me, you so stop me, being sarcastic so me, and just so have a me, discussion. So let me say what I'm it's saying. And then, from and then you can tell me whether you whether you agree or disagree, because we're not talking about the same thing right now. When you the question was about Donald Trump's um, response to COVID-19, right? Do you agree with Donald Trump's response to COVID-19? And you said that you find it interesting that the Democrats, that COVID-19 was serious until people were in the streets and that the Democrats were telling, got people into the streets. And I said to you, dear brother, the Democratic Party did not ask people to go into the streets. Black Lives Matter organized those protests. Now, I have yet to tell you how I feel about, about Black Lives Matter. That's not even the question. The question is, what is Donald Trump's response? And so I want you to see how hollow your response has no, been. No, he asked me, what did I think I'm, about? I'm not, not done. I'm it. not done. I'm not done. I'll let you speak. Why don't you say what he said you then? Speak. You can't just make a false statement and keep talking. I'll let you Ask speak. the moderator what I'll, he said. I'll let you speak. Ask I'll the moderator what he said. I'm tired of you doing this. I will let you speak. All right, hold on. Moderator, what did you ask me? So I asked you. This, this no, 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 no. This is my turn. He doesn't get to ask you to ask you questions. You misquoted later. the man. This is my time to. Jesus, speak. he gets to keep talking and even though he misquoted somebody. It's my turn. Right. Right. Tell right. me, tell me. Let him talk it's and then turn. you're going to get to talk. Let him talk. It's my turn. It's, it's my turn. Though. But you'll be able and to so, expose it if he lying. Don't so worry about my, it. You're going to go in, Tommy. So, you're so going to go in. Let him get his time. Let him get his time. Coffee, brother. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. So a, I, get some coffee to calm down. I, Sir, you might want to know what caffeine does. I it said, calm did down. you have some coffee? Calm down. You're not. No, listening. even the crowd who don't like me, don't side that his own crowd is don't telling you you were wrong. Listen, dear brother, you come on. You're, if if the is, people who don't is, like me are telling you you were wrong. Conversation, if this is going to be a conversation, you're going to have to stop. Okay. So you critiqued the Black Lives Matter movement you were under the guise of the Democrats for getting out during a pandemic and getting large groups of people together. And I will agree with you that mass demonstrations are dangerous doing an, infe an infectious pandemic. I will say to you, however, that I think it's interesting that you're critiquing, the question was about Donald Trump's um, uh, approach to the COVID-19 situation, pandemic, and you went to critique Black Lives Matter. That's not what we're talking about. And in doing that, the funny thing is that you are missing that Donald Trump is the same one that is not asking people to be outside with masks protesting, but he wants them indoors without masks chanting his name. And if you're confused about how dangerous that is, I want you to ask the, the um, president of Godfather's Pizza, Herman Cain, who likely contracted COVID-19 at a Trump rally in Tulsa. He, he did not want people to social distance. We have video of his folks removing signs where the venue said, sit here, sit here, don't sit here, so they could be socially distanced. His folks came in before removed those signs. He did not want them to wear masks. He has continued to make masks 
a, 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 an attack of on him and says that they people are wearing masks because they don't like him, as if it's not about basic science. So you can't critique um, these actions around the country for actually calling an, for an end to a white supremacist criminal justice system and not critique Trump on bringing people indoors without masks, without social distancing during a pandemic. All right, um, Tommy, before you go, I'm gonna put the clock up because that's the first thing I said. I said, Jabari, I think I'm gonna need to put this clock up so I can give both of you brothers equal time where you won't be speaking over each other. It's five minutes good, um, Tommy and uh, Jabari. I'm, and, yeah, if, I, and if you don't speak for five minutes, that's cool. You could just, right. you know, nobody can't say nothing as long as your time that's is up. That's good. Tommy, um, do you want to continue this um, topic here, what we're talking about, or move to the George Floyd situation where I'm asking you? You still want to deal with this one first? Where, where, wherever you want to, wherever Okay, you so how do you feel about the George Floyd situation? And um, how do you feel uh, Donald Trump have handled that? It's on you, brother Tommy. Um, I'm giving you five minutes. It starts when you start. Um... How do I feel about the George Floyd incident? Let me make sure I got him correctly. That's the one that happened in Minnesota, correct? Yes, you got it. All right, Minnesota, what happened in Minnesota? <sighs> Something about that doesn't feel right as well. Again, I'm one of those people, if you look at it. I look at what's going on up there. The fact that these men knew each other, but somehow didn't know each other when they were there that long. Something doesn't feel right about that situation. Also, something that doesn't feel right is you've got people from that situation to start saying that they want to uh, defund the police. But we've seen how standing down what the police did in Baltimore, and we've seen how standing down has done all over the country, especially here in Atlanta. My problem with the George Floyd incident is it just doesn't feel right. Something about it doesn't feel right. Why would this man sit there like a photo op with his knee on him while he knows he's being recorded. Something doesn't feel right. So when you ask me how, what was my response to Donald Trump's response to it? I don't know. He did what a president would do. I would assume. I don't think, I didn't know that there was anything else he's supposed to do. Tony Tempa in, um, in Texas died the exact same way. Cop had his knee on his back and he called 911 because of what was going on. We saw that boy die and no president called him. No president called his family. No marches were put out there. Nothing happened. And it happened two years prior to what happened to George Floyd, almost three. So if we're not gonna talk about that, which the president actually did do something, then I don't understand. And for those who don't know, look up Tony Temper. There's a video of it and everything. And it's insane that nothing happened during this. Go ahead, bro. You still got three minutes. If uh, no, never, just, uh, anything that, you want to talk I, about, you still got it. You can go in. Okay. Well, I, I look at what happened between uh, with, with Donald Trump and his response. I think we need to stop looking for the president to come out and say anything towards these things happening because there are more white people who die at the hands of police every year than it is uh, blacks. And I want y'all to look it up. It's Tony, T-O-N-Y-T-I-M-P-A. Look him up. Also, I, uh, here's another incident. I don't know if you remember, this is one of the saddest incidents that I've ever seen. If uh, a white dude and his girlfriend, the police came in and this happened in uh, Arizona. They came into the hotel. The SWAT team had this boy walk over to them, on, on, crawl over to them on his hands and knees. As he crawled over to them on his hands and knees, guess what happened? He said, please don't shoot me. They still shot this boy dead. No marches, no presidential call. Sorry, I got a problem with that. Okay, uh, brother Jabari. I, I, I'm not sure. Um, hold on Jabari, I'm gonna give you the same time. Okay. And um, what is your stance on the George Floyd situation and do you think Donald Trump handled that appropriately? You got the time. I, I truly believe that um, there have been a, a number of things that have come in um, to alignment at the same time. I think that a lot of folks who were on lockdown saw the death of George Floyd on television and really felt motivated to respond. Um, I know that as these police brutality incidents occur and they occur every day, they're, 
There are so many that we don't hear about because they don't have video. Um, as we hear about them so regularly, sometimes there is no response. And that's partially it's due to several things. One, no video. Two, sometimes people are so busy with the day-to-day -day trying to survive that they don't actually hear or see videos or hear what's happening. And so I think that in some ways, the very fact that people were on lockdown when this occurred, that it happened on Memorial Day, really felt like too much. And we have to also recognize that one of the reasons why people have responded so demonstratively is because they're hearing I can't breathe, I can't breathe again. And remember the movement that took place around the murder, I'm gonna say murder of Eric Garner. So when they heard I can't breathe, they said, this will not happen again and we're not gonna allow it to happen again. So I, I think that in some ways I agree with some of what Tommy has said that um, this doesn't feel right. Why is it there's so many other people who have been killed that we have not um, marched over? I agree with you on that one. Al although I wanna say that there, the, one of the reasons why this has exploded at the time that it has is because of several factors that have come together that are very interesting. But I would rather, when we talk about George Floyd, this brother who was killed by the police, rather than say, um, why didn't we do anything on the others? There's an opportunity now to have justice for George Floyd and others. I think that's, that's the more powerful approach that we should take at this time. I, I also heard you say, dear brother, that um, more white people are killed by the police than black people. Well, black people make up only 13% of the nation. So there has been a disproportionate response of the criminal justice system on black people. I, you, I, I think everyone knows that. And I think you would probably agree with that. So to say that white people, more white people are killed, that doesn't, you'd have to say, is it proportionate to their population? We're only 13%. And we can see that black folks are filling jails. We can see that usually when people are murdered by the police or killed by the police, often it is black folks that are murdered. And so these are things that we, we need to continue to fight, to struggle, to make sure that that black boot gets off our neck. We cannot see another brother murdered and stay quiet. Even in a pandemic, people got out there because it was just so raw that this had happened and that you heard a man cry for his mother who had died. And after he cried for his mother, he said, I'm dead, I'm gone. He actually said, I can't breathe over 20 times. And that officer, they did work at the same place. That was really strange. Um, the, the owner of the place says that they likely didn't know each other, but who knows, that is strange. Um, that officer sat there with a smirk on his face, choking out the air of a black man. Rather than focus on the marches that did not happen for others, this is the time we get justice for all. And so we have to continue to um, ensure that this is the last time this happens. Now I'm gonna tell you, uh, while I am a, a revolutionary and activist, and I have been probably forever, um, I'm going to say to you that it's not going to be the last time. There's a, probably a black man that's killed today that will never, whose name we'll never hear. All right, Jabari, time. Uh, I'm going to bring the time down to three minutes. Uh, you okay. want to respond, um, Tommy? Yeah, he yeah, said, uh, I, I would first like to appreciate the fact that that time we were able to just talk and give our talking points and leave the sarcasm out of it. Number two, I want to get to the idea of what was just said, which is the, which is should be responded this way. He said there are more of them than us. Um, there are more incidences of blacks that blacks have with the cops. So if blacks have more incidences with the cops, then that's what you have to look at to find your percentage. You have a small percentage of the population, which is about 6.5, which is the black males between the age of 18 and 35, that is committing the large amount of crimes in the United States. That is a problem. And it ain't something that we sit around and white people making it up. Because every time we get to a point where they back off and they let us do what we want to do, we seem to be the ones killing each other. Like how I just listened to T.I. threaten a dude's life on Instagram after talking about Black Lives Matter all over a joke the guy made. It's insane. Even what happens between us as Black people. We can't have meetings where we're not shooting, concerts where we're not shooting, beating each other up, threatening each other all the damn time. Even in something as simple as a debate right here. 
A debate should be between people who, okay, let's see what talking points. Not crispy, can't stand him, all this stuff. When you'd hope that well, no matter what comes out, if it's right, it's right. If it's wrong, it's wrong. I tried to talk about Joe Biden earlier. And I brought up what Joe Biden, who is the candidate going up against Donald Trump, has done, has said, has signed into bill law. And if you can get past what he's done while he's been in office in all the places he's been in office, if you can get past that and still vote for him, then be my guest. All right, let's get some thumbs up on this video, y'all. Let's get some likes up on this video. You want to respond to that, Jabari, or do sure. I move on? Sure, ahead, no, I do. Respond. I do, I do, I do. Ahead, I, 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 wanna, I wanna respond, and I'm gonna just say that I, I'm gonna source up here. I, I want you to be clear. Here goes US News and World Report. I could show you a lot of different sites that show that deaths from police harm disproportionately affect people of color. Um, and this is actually from FBI statistics. I um, mean, you can see that 17% of the black people who died from police harm were unarmed, a larger, a larger share than any other racial group, and about 3 point time, 3 point, 1 point 1.3 times more than the average of 13%. I, I just want you to understand that black folks actually, I, I don't have to tell you this, anyone who lives in the hood knows that there's a disproportionate impact of, of police violence in our neighborhoods. I mean, that's just the reality. And I think, Tommy, that you should not then pivot to, to black crime. That's a Republican talking point. The police, people who are actually being paid to serve, paid to defend us, are killing us and we're often unarmed. Let's not say, well, black folks are committing crime. Black folks don't commit crime more than white folks do. That's a Republican talking point. And I know you heard him say that in the chat room. The police are killing black people. We have to address it. Let's not bring out all any other um, ex, uh, extraneous ideas because the reality is also this. People should have the ability to make errors too because white people make errors, black people make errors. White people do things that are stupid, black people do things that are stupid. But more often than not, black folks in those situations are killed because of the way that the police respond. How many times have you had um, police officers pull guns on you when you're not doing anything? I know I've gotten, I could probably tell you 12 to 15 times that the police have pulled a gun on me and I'm not doing anything. So, and I live in the hood and I assume you live in the hood too. So, so I wanna say that um, we have to be really clear that the situation on vi from violence with from authority figures supposedly is a rampant public um, uh, health issue. It is a remnant of slave patrols. It's a remnant of, uh, of a, uh, not even a remnant. It is part of the white supremacist system. Let's just talk about that. Uh, trying to make it sound like there are a lot more black people who are committing crime. I mean. By the way, I'd like you to source that too. I want All right. you to, I want All you right, to Jabari. Um, let's move on over to Tommy. Tommy well, I want to point out brother. he said he said source. He's always talking about sources. He said black people don't commit more crimes than white. Well, if he wanted to pull sources, unless he's gonna deny the sources or say it's by white people, blacks actually do. Another thing, you've never heard of on Fourth of July weekend, a bunch of white people killing each other. On Father's Day, a bunch of white people killing each other. You, don't, you can look up these stats, so I'm shocked that he would say white and blacks commit the same amount of crimes. No, they do not, because the num now you can say the numbers are blown up or people are doing that, you'd have to come up with something. But if you're going to say, let's cite the resources or let's cite the sources, the sources show black people actually do commit more crimes. And as a matter of fact, when you have to use words like the hood, and all these things, and black folks can't walk in this place or walk in that place, guess what? There's no such thing as a white place black folks can't walk, or white folks can't walk in. There's no such thing as a white Chicago. Name a place like Chicago where white people live in the United States. Just name one. Name a place like Bodymore, you know, Baltimore. Name a place like Kilwaukee, you know, Milwaukee. Name a place like Gatlanta. 
Name a place, name a time, name a, 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 a situation where white people are going around saying, can't go to New Orleans, the murder capital of the world. You name a place like this is all I'm asking. As a matter of fact, people like LeBron James and other black people who are trying to tell you to go out and march, who himself said that he's afraid and his sons are afraid of white people chasing them down. He has a Nike video. And in that Nike video, he did have white people chasing him down to get his autograph. Maybe we don't remember that five years ago. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, LeBron James, while he's talking like that, guess where he won't move? Where you live, Jabari. Why won't he move there? Ask Ice Cube what happened when he tried to make fun of Dr. Drayden and he moved to the hood. You know what they kept doing to him? Robbing him. And it wasn't white folks. We don't have any other group of people. There's no other group of people, no musicians who die at gun, gun violence or violence of men with guns than black rappers. Those are black people who kill each other all the time. So to act like black people and white people are just as violent in these streets is a lie because I ain't never seen NSYNC and 90 Degrees shoot at each other. I ain't never seen Brooks and Dunn have a battle with the Dixie Chicks. I've never seen it. But every year you can name 10 black rappers who've been shot by black folks. So if you want to keep telling people that blacks and whites commit the same crimes, then maybe you don't you explain to me why when black folks get money, they move around whites. God damn, Jabari. That, that's <laughs> that's some facts there, man. What you coming with, Jabari? Let's go. It's on you. You're shaking you shaking your know, head. Listen, listen I know on. Tommy I'm gonna gets give upset. You, I'm going to give you your time. T Tommy gets upset when I say this, but I have to say it. Source up or shut up. So I want you to be really clear about something. When you look at the data, as I have, and you look at crime, the thing that is the greatest correlation from crime is not race. It is poverty. So that if you actually control for poverty, you will not see a correlation with race, a correlation on crime based on race. Um, and let me show you a source because I think I might be the only one that's doing that here, but that's okay. Uh, let me just show you a source because I, I think that some of what um, you might be doing, brother, is you might be saying things that you think, but you have to read the statistics. This is from the Washington Post. Another excuse for police bias bites the dust. And I want you to read it. It's on June 4th, 2019. And they actually describe the fact that, um, here it is. But given that poverty and crime tend to go hand in hand, it's also possible to make this point without invoking bigoted tropes. You have to actually control for poverty because clearly, you're not going to see certain types of people who are wealthy commit the same types of crimes. By the way, I could argue that there are wealthy um, white folk, wealthy Tom who, who commit all kinds of crimes that never get, um, that never get, they never get uh, held account for, including your good friend, Donald Trump, who was listed in a criminal complaint <laughs> as individual one. If he was not the president, he would likely be manacles right now. And so I want you to truly understand, brother, that the correlation of crime is not race. The correlation of crime is poverty. I could show you, I could just grab five or six books off my shelf to make that case for you. You need to read um, The New Dream, Jim Crow. Have you read it? You, you have to look at the FBI um, statistics. This is, I, I, there's no way for me to, I, I don't even know why I'm arguing this. That's just, that's just a fact. Black people do not commit more crime, but poor people commit more crime. And that's the reality. And so if you, if you control for poverty, you're going to see something very curious appear. Brother Jabari, what do you think about um, Trump's- can I, really, can I say something to, and I won't take the whole three minutes. Go ahead, go ahead, brother, respond. You keep on saying things and keep saying the, the same thing. Every time he's losing an argument, he makes the same thing. We need to source up my brother. I don't know what you yeah, think. source up. I let you say all that crap you said. Now let me say mine. I let him say all that crap every time. Every time he's losing, he does the exact same thing. But I was right. There is no, when you say it's, it's not a black thing, it's, a, um, it's, it's, it's an economic thing. 
Well, there are poor white people all over the United States. And you still don't hear about on July 4th, these white people shot each other. The one of the poorest states in the union is Kansas. Nothing but white people. And the violent places there are black. I don't understand why we would even argue this when again, we know black people tell other black people they can't go to these places in the United States. There is not one place in the United States that people feel like that where white people are. You cannot name this place. Name one place. No. I think you're breaking up. You're breaking up, Tommy. Hey, 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 Jabari. Um... He do got a point here. No, though, he does Jabari. not. He do, he man. Listen, Sonetta. He do. So, Tommy, wait. you breaking up, Tommy. You got to come back let me, in. Let, Son, let, let Tommy finish. Yeah, but he got a point, uh, though. Go ahead. Is it still messing up? No, well, you froze, can, but can we can hear you now. I and I want to apologize. But I'm saying, I don't know why somebody would even be arguing this, y'all. This is crazy. I haven't said anything that was wrong, and I haven't said anything we don't know. I've never went to an event with some white people, whether they like me or not, and they try to fight. It's never happened. We're trying to act like. All right, he, damn, I knew it was something off. He'll probably click back on, but Jabari, he clicked off. No, he ain't click off, it went off. Let, let me, let me just, um, let me no, just. No, no, hold on, let me say this real quick. Go he ahead. got a goddamn point, Jabari. What's the point? On Father's Day, he's talking about the murdering and killing that we do to each other. That's what he's talking about. And so we can't keep on making excuses, Jabari, for that. Sonetta. We do kill each other like Sonetta. it's crazy, brother. Hold Sonetta. on, brother. Brother, but, you got to stop for a minute. I'm going to let you go. Go ahead. We do kill each other like it's fucking crazy. You don't see that in poor white communities. You don't need the source up for that. You can just look around. Look at the people that died in Chicago. Look at the kids that die. You don't see Black Lives Matter come out. You don't see nobody come out. You don't see nobody giving a damn, right? But then if a white man was that would have had killed that kid in the Bronx who was only 17 years old and he was a basketball player, you would have seen a big outcry, a march, a mobilization going on, right? But you don't see that when we do it to each other. That's the stand that Tommy is talking about. Now, so, now, go ahead, brother. Go okay, ahead. let me say to you that's not true. The stuff that you just said is not true. Okay. So yesterday okay. I was at a rally against criminal, uh, against um, uh, uh, violence in the black community. There were no cameras. Well, very few cameras. Those rallies always occur. I'm sure you know Aisha Seku personally, don't you, Sonetta? Yeah. Sonetta? Yeah, go ahead. You know, I, I'm trying to get Tommy Seku. back in. Go ahead, talk. What my point, but I want you, I was speaking to you. Don't, I'm not just talking to the audience. I I'm want trying you to get to, Tommy back in here, brother. <laughs> Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm going to say two things. First of all, I want <laughs> hold you yeah, to- Hold on, hold on, Jabari. Hey, Tommy, click the link to come back in. That's all. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to log back in. I had to reboot my server. Okay. All right, brother. Go ahead. Oh, my, my, uh, my router. Sorry. All right. Uh, yes, I, go ahead, Jabari. I want you to understand something. First of all, Violence in our community is a concern. It's a major concern. I've, I've actually played a role in anti-violence um, initiatives since I was a really young man and now I'm an older man, right? I'm not saying it's not a concern. I'm not saying we should ignore it. What I'm saying is that when you control for poverty, you're actually going to see that crime is not based on race. That's the only issue I said. I got you, I understand. And, and I also wanna challenge both of you because you're talking about- No, nah, don't challenge both of us. You're wait, wait, no, with listen, Tommy, brother. I'm listen, just no, <laughs> hear what I'm saying, though. Hear what I'm yeah. saying. You might agree with this. Hear what I'm saying. Yeah. Both of us, both of us live in the hood. So I can't tell you effectively about what's happening in rural white neighborhoods, because I don't live there. I can tell you what's happening in Harlem because I live there. I can tell you what's happening in Jamaica, Queens. I can tell you what's happening in those places, because those are the people that are closest to me. Jabari, I want you to uh, all wait, I hear finish. is excuses from I you, brother. Want you, that is not an excuse. Or black on Netta. black killing us, Come on. On Go ahead, go ahead, brother. What Tommy is saying is, remember, he talked about how this was about how you feel about George Floyd being killed. And he went on to an extended rant about black people 
killing each other. By the way, you should know that our brother George Floyd- All right, he's back, he's back. Okay, Let him our, let, uh, our brother George Floyd wasn't killing anyone when he was murdered by the police. So really black on black crime, if you wanna call it that, cause I don't even think that that term should be used, actually is, is it, it's immaterial to this part of the conversation. All right, let's but bring I him back you, home, brother. Let me finish. But I want you to understand that you can't just go on what you think you know, you have to look at the statistics to understand what's happening in crime around the country. Because I only live in one neighborhood. I don't live in every part of the country. So you have to look at the statistics. When you look at the statistics and you co control for poverty, you're going to see that poor people tend to commit more crime. And that if you are wealthier, you have more options. There are other things you're not involved in. That's just the reality of things. And by the way, I wanna also undo something here. There are a lot of black folk that live in Harlem that got mad paper. <laughs> so I, I, I want you to understand that um, we're not actually talking about. And yes, I did. someone said I didn't show statistics. I showed you a source. The only one that's showing sources is me. He said he was he was gonna, what he said was correct, but he hasn't demonstrated it with sources. I All can right. show you other sources. All right, Jabari, we're gonna let Tommy finish what he was saying. And then we're going to go to you. Go ahead, Tommy. Uh, the only thing I was saying was, I think it's sad that we as people, as black people, Jabari even made the comment before I even started talking. He talked about the hood, the hood. And all black folks love talking about the hood. And when they talk about the hood, they're not talking about a safe place. They're not talking about a loving place. They're talking about a bad place. Wow. They're talking about a place. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. If you gonna stop because I said, wow, you said a lot of stuff while I was talking. No. You uh, did. No, That's uh, a fact. Just, just let him go. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Tommy. I just don't understand why black people would sit and want to argue about something that we know is a fact. So if we're just going to argue something to be arguing it, while people die, while people are broke, while families are being destroyed, while we just had a whole bunch of young black children being shot over a course of two weekends, this is childish. So if you wanna keep arguing it, sir, you keep right on ahead, which is the reason why black children keep dying and we'll just wait around for another. You froze again. Can you hear us? He froze. He froze. Let me say something, Sonetta. Go ahead. I want you to understand that Tommy is playing a shell game. All right, hold on, hold on. He's here, he's here, Jabari. Go ahead. What I said was, it's crazy that we have children dying. And if he wants to play this game and be sarcastic and always have these little smug, smart remarks, instead of talking about something that's real, children are dying, people are suffering. And if we as black people wanna wait around for the next George Floyd for us to act like we give a crap, well, while we burning down police stations, why don't we burn down dope houses? In Atlanta, when they just shot this little black girl in the head, or in Chicago, when they shot that black girl who was 13 dancing in front of her mom, maybe we can go burn down the people's houses who did that when we burning down the, the police station, when we burning down the target. Let's go burn down those people instead of having it be like Chicago where eight out of 10 black on black murders go unsolved because of a stupid, we don't want to snitch rule. Y'all real bad when it comes to regular people and crispy people and people on YouTube who you want to beat up. But you ain't that damn bad when niggas in the street fucking with you, when niggas are killing your mamas and your cousin them. You ain't that damn bad when the white woman at the damn store put a gun out, you got your camera in front of her. Put your camera in front of one of them niggas that's doing it. Do that. Mm. Let's go, Jabari. Uh, I'm going to change this topic, Jabari. No, wait, 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 wait. Go ahead, go ahead. Three minutes. You got it. Go, Jabari. You, you remember the dudes on the corner that actually have the ball under the cups and they move it around? Yes, and they are yes. able to actually distract you from the actual ball, so they keep taking your money. Uh huh. Tommy is distracting us. There he the goes. The question is about the question 
was about how you feel about the killing of George Floyd. And Tommy moved into an extended incorrect diatribe about black on black crime. How dare you talk about black on black crime when you're talking about a black man who was killed by the police? That is immoral, brother. The question is about George Floyd being killed by the police. And you want to talk about black on black crime? What black on black crime was George Floyd committing when he was murdered by the police? And second of all, read the darn statistics. Black people do not commit more crime. Poor people commit more crime. And that's just the reality of things. Read the darn statistics. You can cite all of the, the absolute inappropriate things that black um, criminals have done in the black neighbor in black neighborhoods. I march against them. I run youth programs to deal with it. I'm the one that dealt with that ran a, a court program in the hood. Yes, the hood that I love, by the way, to support black children so they didn't go in that direction. That's me. You can't tell me about what to do about violence in the hood. I've been in it for 25 years. And so I want you to understand, family, that I can see the ball under the cup. This is about what, how you feel about George Floyd's death. If you make this about black people killing black people, that is immoral. That isn't what this and is. And I'm going to get heated when you do that. That isn't what this was about. And again, you have a moderator who could tell you that what you're saying is untrue. So ask him what the question was as you want to. Go talk. ahead. What was it? Because you didn't ask me, how do I feel about George Floyd? I'd already answered that. No. I did. Okay. 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 Right. Right. What was the question? I already answered that. What was the question, Sonetta? Brother, we moving on, brother. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. We no, 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 Stop, no, 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 Both no, no, of the no. people in this no. debate no, hear me out. are asking you to say what the question was. Let me say this. It's, I'm not supporting you or him. I agree with the last statement that the brother made when he talked about the killing. What when was the about, question, Sonnetter? Brother, listen, man, we ain't going through it huh. again. You know what the question was. It was dealing with George Floyd. Oh. And stuff like that. <laughs> well, here we go. Here we go. Um, Jabari. What do you think about Donald Trump's comments about the black community? What do you think about Donald Trump racist? Let me put racist on there. Comments about the black community. And you can source I, up if you want to. I could. Um, I, I'm the only one doing it. I almost feel like I shouldn't. But I, I want to say that um, <laughs> I, it's really important for us to understand that Donald Trump has a long racist history. It goes all the way back to his father, actually, when they were actually putting C's on the ap applications of black folks that were looking to live in their, in their buildings and telling people to put a black tenant's application in a drawer and ignore it. He was actually sanctioned by the federal government. Then you can actually trace his racist past to the, the, um, the, the Central Park Five case where he asked for black five black youth to be murdered before they were even indicted and after it was proven that they did not commit the crime he still said they were guilty he still today says they're not guilty even though new york they were released the one that was still in prison was released from prison and they actually settled a major a multi-major multi-million dollar settlement um with them we can also see that um donald trump's lawyer says that he goes through certain neighborhoods and say, only blacks can live this way. And they're too stupid to vote for me. We know that he called um, black, country, black countries s-hole countries. We know that when he was running his, um, his casinos and he saw a black um, uh, accountant, he said he did not want black, blacks there because they're lazy. He wanted little guys with yarmulkes counting his money. D Donald Trump has a long history of racist comments, a very long history. And all you have to do is a little bit of searching and you'll find some that will literally disturb you. So I want you to recognize that we should stop trying to pretend that Donald Trump has anything to offer the black, uh, black communities. We should stop it. 
Joe Biden has a long history of racist policies that have been enacted that hurt the black community. So no matter what it is that happened outside of it, because I don't like that I'm renting out my I'm going to rent out my house. I ain't going to rent it out to no niggas. I know some niggas that won't rent out to niggas. I know niggas that won't let niggas borrow money. I know niggas that talk like this. So let's not act like they don't. But let's talk about the man who's actually put policies in place that hurt black folks. That would be Joe Biden. Now, Donald Trump has been in office for about almost four years. What policy has he put in place that's hurt black folks? I'll wait because I don't give a damn what somebody says in their personal life because my grandmother talks shit about white people all day damn day. So why? I talk a lot of shit about white people, but what matters is what you do in the middle of the forum. I don't give a shit that the owner of the football team don't like niggas. If he put niggas on the team and we win, I don't give a shit. See, you have a person who was in the government and did policies that hurt black folks. You have another person that's currently in the government. Unless you can tell me what he's done while he's in office to hurt black folks, your argument is stupid. That's like me arguing that the girl I'm with used to uh, cheat on the nigga she used to be with. Well, she ain't cheating on me. So why the hell would I argue that point? Donald Trump has done nothing and you haven't brought up one damn thing to show that Donald Trump has done something against black people while he's been in office. You keep bringing up what the nigga did when he was 12, what he did when he was 25, what he said when he was running a business. And I don't give a shit. I give a shit about what he did when he was president, when he was setting policy. And Joe Biden helped set policies that destroyed the nuclear black family. Say something about that. Damn. Tabari, I you got I the want floor. You- I want you to know that the ball is still under the left shell. See, <laughs> that is childish. <laughs> he is childish. Hey, Listen, you just point. went to go get a wrestling belt to put on your shoulder. You are childish. Listen, he, he let's be clear. Thing maybe over you have never been. Every time maybe, you lose, he's playing the listen, shell game. Listen, Nigga, listen, get a new comeback. You got to understand that if you ain't never been to a black barbershop, I'm going to check your jaw. And I'm going to continue to check your jaw. Stop crying when I check your jaw. Stop crying. You just said that what I said was stupid. You didn't hear me say, did you say what I said was stupid? No. I'm coming at you like you're coming at me. About what a man did when I'm he was trying to throw a rock and hide your hand, brother. You did not answer what I said. So listen, he won't. let's go. He won't answer let's what I go. said. Let's go, let's go, let's go. First of all, I want you to understand that I am critical of those people who supported the crime bill as well. I want you to understand how um, bills work. They have to actually be voted for by a majority of people in order for them to become um, to become law. None of them were and, Donald Trump. And I want you to understand, here we go. None of them were Donald Trump. I want you to understand, Donald Trump has not been in, in office very long. That's you what we got to judge him on. You have to, I'm sorry. Now you stop I when I said, wow. Tell Look me what you're talking. Done. How, uh, Listen, oh, no, brother, calm down. Uh, no, sign calm that up. You gotta down. let him answer what I said. Calm it's not right now. Down. It's not right that he keeps calm. avoiding. Hold on, Jabari, Jabari. Don't say he Listen. won't answer it. This is fucked up. This I simply asked him to tell me what has Donald Trump did that hurt black people speak. since he's been in office. If this he is can't my turn to speak. Fuck up. All right, if Jabari, you can't answer, you don't wanna, serious. You don't want to address what he said because it's irritating. Listen, Sonetta, Sonetta. You gave us a question as the moderator. Yes. You also gave me three minutes. So if I speak for 10 seconds and he doesn't hear his answer, then damn it, I don't care. Let me finish my time and then you can question it. By the way, I'm talking to the question that has been spoken. You are the one that is, is playing the shell game and trying to bring up stuff that no one talked about. Wow. That's what you're doing. And if you want to hear my response, then be quiet and listen. Go, Jabari, go ahead. Ahead. You got to wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Tommy, you, you got to let him upset. speak his minute. Let him you speak his time. You got upset. You got upset when I said, wow. That but you so go nice. into lengthy <laughs> paragraphs. You have to be quiet and listen. Go ahead, yeah, Jabari. That's what you got to do. If we're going to have a dialogue, that's what you got to do. And when you take, no, wait, listen. I'm not even, this is not on my time, Sonetta. We have to no. talk about how this is working. And you could say what you want, Tommy, 
The reality is that you have said things ab about me here. You just said that my ideas are stupid. You question whether a black man should have the positions I have. You don't hear me crying about it. So when I actually swing back on you, stop acting like you can't be swung on. He has no answers. So All right, let's let him go. Do let the go. answer to the question. First of all, Tommy keeps bringing up the, the crime bill. I think we need to hold every politician that was involved on the crime bill um, to account. A lot of people voted for the crime bill, including Joe Biden. By the way, Joe Biden has apologized for what he did for the crime on the crime bill. A lot of people did it, both Republicans and Democrats, and a lot of black <laughs> leaders supported it too. And they should be held accountable for what they did. Now, I want to be really clear about something. Donald Trump has done many things that are dangerous to the Black community. Many things. Um, Donald Trump has actually continued to cut education funds for needy schools. And those needy schools tend to be in our neighborhoods. Donald Trump's um, uh, uh, um, Secretary of Education, Betsy DeVos, is actually stripping away funding from public schools and giving them to private schools. Those are things that affect the black community more, most directly. Donald Trump has actually weakened so many of the environmental bills that protect impoverished communities against what they call environmental racism. Just in the pandemic, they just removed the law that allows companies to now dump in water streams. When those things happen, they happen in poor neighborhoods, which are, uh, that are, which are disproportionately Black. There are many, many, many things that Donald Trump has done that have affected the Black community, many of them. And I want you to be very, very crystal about something. Talking about a bill that happened in 1994 that we both think was actually inappropriate. That's not going to save you from talking about what, um, what uh, Trump has done. The question Sonnetter was about, the, he's not answering any of the questions. The question was about how he uh, approached um, his, the racist comments of Trump. And the, before that, the question was about Donald Trump's approach to the coronavirus. He's not, meant, he's not responding to any of those questions. And now he wants me to respond to his questions. Well, I, I'm sorry. I thought that Sonetto was the moderator asking the questions. You can't just have your own questions and then get upset when I don't answer your questions because I'm responding to the darn moderator. And Sonetto, you can't actually follow, get confused with the ball. Because he made the murder of George Floyd about black on black crime. How dare you do that? We're talking about the murder of a black man at the hands of the police. And he wants to say black people are committing an inordinate amount of crime. What does that have to do with what we're talking about? By the way, it's false. What does it have to do with what we're talking about? And so I want you to hold him to answer the questions because I'm trying to answer you with sources. Not just okay. things I believe. All right, Tom. Um, we're going to go here. Um, how do you feel? Now, here's the question. I'm going to hold oh, both of y'all to the, to the question. How do you feel, Tommy Sotomayor, about Donald Trump's actions regarding the Central Park Five case? Now, we all know what happened. Donald Trump still, to this day, have not apologized to these five people that you know, that now he see that did not commit the crime. How do you feel about um, him responding to these cases, brother? It's on you, Tommy. We got five, three minutes. Okay. Donald Trump did not put them. Can you guys hear me? I don't know what was. What's we can hear yeah, you. we hear you. We hear you. Donald Trump did not put them in jail. Donald Trump was not on the jury. Donald Trump was not the defense attorney or the prosecutor. Donald Trump did nothing other than say something that you didn't like when there were several other people who felt they were guilty as well. Him not apologizing to them has nothing to do with that case at all. That would be silly for me to hold someone, in my opinion, to the fact that they thought something was true and it wasn't. There are a lot of people who think OJ did it. I'm not going to sit up there and say they can't run for office because they still think OJ did it or they didn't think OJ did it. 
That doesn't make sense that I'm going to hold somebody who had nothing to do with it, who was a private citizen, just like I think, um, what, what's her name? Uh, the, 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 the girl who, uh, the woman who her daughter survived, uh, she, her daughter ended up dead, uh, Casey Anthony. I think Casey Anthony killed that little girl. I will believe it till the day I die. But that has nothing to do with this person. The man was a private citizen. He was a private citizen. I don't understand this. Why are we arguing that? You still got a minute. I'm um, got two minutes left. You can talk about whatever you want to talk about in your in your time. It it. I I just want to say, because I didn't, and I'm and I apologize that this thing keeps going down. I don't know why. But if we're going to talk about facts, it's kind of silly that we're going to say it's just about a cop killing a black person. When do you understand that during the riots? Um, excuse me. Let's not call them riots. They call them what the Democrats call them during the protests. During the protest, more blacks were killed by other blacks in protest mode, not just in the streets, in protest mode. Then the cop had killed this black person. So I think it's really odd that during these times of protest, we're killing each other. That's odd to me. And I don't know why anybody would say we're not trying to address the thing that before any cop kills us, we keep killing ourselves. We don't even know how to talk to each other like we love or care about each other. We honestly think, because many of us were raised by women, that sarcasm is the way to win a debate. We honestly think that little smart quips is the way to go. When if I'm not mistaken, at a certain point in time, maybe, just maybe, grown men, if they really care about the black people they're talking about, they would start talking about it like they give a crap. Not like it's some type of show they're trying to put on. So when we talk about something like this, you know why it matters to me? Because for years, the Democrats have been screwing over black people, screwing them over, giving them promises and never giving them a damn thing. I was one of the first ones who sat up here and said, we need to hold our damn vote from them. Don't let them sit there and believe that they're supposed to get the vote. Treat them like the, if you're the girl trying to go to the prom, even if you know you want to go with that guy. Make it seem like there's some other people, because if he know he got you, he ain't going to work hard. And that's why I'm so upset, because black people are listening to a bunch of people who don't give them anything. So how do I feel about the Central Park Five and how Donald Trump handled it? He was a private citizen, a private citizen. What he said or whether he believed they're guilty or not has nothing to do with him being president. I've still yeah, been asking. Yeah, but see, Tommy, it, even though he's a private citizen, what about the, um, shouldn't he have a responsibility now being that he is the president of the United States of America? To shouldn't talk about, something, something? To yeah, talk about something that happened 15, 20 years ago? Yes. Why? I don't even think he should talk about George Floyd. Oh. Let okay, me tell you why. Because if he talks about George Floyd, he has to talk about everyone. That's not his job. If he starts doing that, then if you are a citizen, I'm sorry. I know I'd feel if you called this person, but you didn't call me, I got a problem because my child died just like that. It starts to see that is not the president's job. It has never been the president's job. It's insane to sit here and think that that's his job. Mm -hmm. All right, Brother Jabari, um, you still get you got three minutes, Brother Jabari It's on you. You know, um, our our brother Tommy wants to hold every Democrat accountable for things that happened in 1994, but he wants to let the guy that's in office now off the hook for something that happened in 1989. Oh, I don't want to hold every. Uh, wait, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. No, you gotta turn. let him talk. You gotta let him speak, Tommy. No, but I just. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm Tommy, not. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta let him speak. Oh, I want can you I, to. Can hear. I just say something? In two no, seconds. I've never no, misquoted no. him. I've never no. misquoted him. Not no. once. No. I've never done it's not that. Your it's time a to speak. way to do it. Now I want you to understand. Now, if he does that to me again, I'm fucking leaving because that ain't right. He gets understand. to misquote me and then start building off a I misquote. You but you'll be able to. You'll be able to no, respond. No, we shouldn't though, have Thomas. to do it like that. That's called building listen. on lies. Listen, listen, listen. You have said I've said a lot of things that I did. No, I haven't. Name one. Name one time I've said that you said something. That I've never Guess done what? that because that's what? stupid. Guess what? I'm not going to name one because I want to talk to because the Because I never did it. Because that's much more important. So listen, let's look at um, the things that happened during the Central Park Five case. 
Donald Trump, yes, it's correct that he was a private citizen. He's, you're correct about that. But he was a private citizen with a, a lot of wealth and influence. And so he took these full page ads out. I was around when it happened. I live in New York. Calling for the death penalty for, 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 for young men, for five young men. They were children. That's what he did. And yeah, this happened when he was a private citizen. And so uh, it sounds to me like you'd like to um, give him a pass because it happened because he was a private citizen. This is some of what he said. I want to hate these muggers and murderers. They should be forced to suffer. And when they kill, they should be executed for their crime. That's the kind of stuff he said before these boys were even, before they even went to trial. He was asking for the death penalty. By the way, New York State did not have the death penalty at the time. So he was asking for them to be killed. And I want you to understand that while he was president, this is what he said in 2016. This is what the leader of the freaking free world said in 2016. They admitted they were guilty. The police doing the original investigation said they were guilty. The fact that the case was settled with so much evidence against them is outrageous. And the woman so badly injured will never be the same. Let us be clear that they were exonerated both by DNA evidence now and by the words of the person who was actually connected to the crime by DNA evidence. I think that we need to stop giving Donald Trump a pass. I don't think most people in our community do that, but I, I think that's what I'm hearing from Tommy. And so I, I want us to recognize that if someone does something to attack the people of our community, I'm gonna try to hold them accountable. I'm gonna chastise them, I'm gonna critique them. He wants us to critique some folks, but let some folks go. And the person he exactly wants you to let go is actually the president of the United States who was up for reelection. We have to hold him accountable for his racist behavior. That is of critical importance. Uh, go ahead, Tommy. Time do I have? You got 30 seconds left. Okay, you can take the 30, go ahead. Go ahead, Tommy, it's on you. I simply ask that we hold the man in office for what he's done while he was in office. For some odd reason, we can't talk about what he's done while he's in office. I don't understand this, but I do want to show you something. I don't know how this works, this, this thing works, but let me see. The sharing? Let me see if I can show you guys something. I'm going to click on sharing, but I don't know if how it works. I don't want to interrupt you. I just want to explain to you how to do it. Uh, can I, I do pause that? the time. I pause the time. Okay, so. can I do that to help you share? I want you to share. I'm not, you know. Yeah, I, I don't mind. It's just my when my, you when my, you mouse over the the Zoom window, you're gonna see the bottom piece come that says share screen. When you click problem it, is it, problem is it's frozen. I think because oh. of what I have going on, my entire screen just froze when I clicked on share. Is it something screen. online that you want me to pull up and share from my screen? I will do that. Oh, whatever's going on, I can't even move my mouse. My whole computer stopped. Um, you breaking, breaking up, up now. Something going on. on. Um, I do want to show you guys Joe Biden saying, calling blacks predators. You want me to show you? Show you um, tell me the side of the Crap. Um, I guess I can shut it down and start it back. Yeah, you, 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 you messed up right now. Let me shut it down. down you got something yeah, open. open. You got something open right now. Something open right now. I, I pressed the share and it shut down. Like, y'all can hear me, but I can't move shit. Yeah, and you're, and you're, and you're, and you're breaking up. You are let, me right. stop, let me come back. Okay. All right, Jabari, you can talk while we're waiting on them. To yeah, I, I mean, I, I just, I'm not going to talk about Tommy. I'm going to talk about the issue. I, I, I really think that um, we have to, when we are actually going to elect someone, we need to actually evaluate them. And I don't think there's anything wrong with him bringing up Joe Biden's record and, and questioning whether we should vote for him. I think that we should all be doing that. We should question Joe Biden and we should critique Donald Trump. But I don't think that we should just critique one of them. Because the reality is Joe Biden is not a black revolutionary leader. He's an old white man and so is Donald Trump. Let's be clear about that. 
All I am suggesting is that when we, when we evaluate them, we evaluate them on what they've done. That's all. That's all I'm suggesting. And so I think that if you look at Donald Trump's record, it's a lot, a lot of problems. It's a lot of problems. And to say that just because he did something when he was a private citizen, it's irrelevant. I mean, he was a private citizen that had a lot of, um, a lot of uh, influence. I mean, he put a, a full page um, article ads in newspapers in New York City. Do you know how much a full page article cost in the, daily, in the, in the New York Post? It's got to cost like something around $16,000 in 1989. How many of us could do that? So I think that what we should do is we should make sure that we are holding people accountable for the things they say and the things they do. Um, and as we do that, then we should come to evaluate exactly how people are, um, whether they should, we should vote for them or not. That's what we should do. It's that simple. And we also should look at their platforms. How many of you have actually looked at the looked at the platforms and said, well, what are they running on? You should do that as well. Make an informed decision. I truly believe, and this is my position, that if you make an informed decision around what both of these people have done and how it affects people like us in our community, I think that you are going to clearly see that Donald Trump is a problem. I think that he's an existential threat to this country, that he's a threat to everybody. And I, I want to say that um, if you question that, then just look at the fact that 134,000 people have died and this government has not been able to mount an effective response. And the numbers are going up again in places that Donald Trump suggested should open while he was suggesting they should drink bleach and take a, a drug that is not scientifically proven to do a darn thing, but perhaps give you a heart attack. That's his record. And most of the people who are dying are black and, and Latino. That's us. We the ones that are dying. We should hold them accountable for that. We should hold them accountable for that. And he's still holding these major rallies, these gigantic rallies in closed spaces where he doesn't want people to wear masks and he doesn't want them to socially distance. And you know, scientifically it's been proven that when you're screaming, you're letting out more of um, the, the actual virus if you have it. Look at Herman Cain. Herman Cain went to his rally. Herman Cain is an older man you should know if you don't know who Herman Cain is. He went to his rally in Tulsa and now he's in the hospital with the coronavirus. And, and folks in Tulsa are now saying that the, the blip that they have seen, the spike that they're beginning to see, might actually be related to that rally. Is there a spike um, rising up in New York? No. Because New York's they don't numbers build, are flat. Because they so feel that they killed enough already, Jabari. So yeah, now they're enough. moving. Well, they, they feel that they have killed enough in New York. So now let me move on my killing to other states. Let me try to move it out there to different states, brother, to like Texas, to like um, Arizona. How in the hell can Arizona be on the map as one of the states where a heavy corona case going on when they don't live in here like New York? They spaced out in Arizona. You need a car to drive to house to house to house. They are spaced out. It's not like they said it was. And every time I say this, Jabari, Nobody, I don't want to listen to me. I don't have a doctor on my name. I'm saying the coronavirus is a goddamn hoax, Jabari. I've been saying it from the beginning. I be saying that this goddamn corrupt system and this government, brother, they've been, how, how in the hell, Jabari, that this coronavirus now is attacking more black people than anybody? This just should be attacking everybody, not just singling out black people. Sonetta. But we're going to move from there. We're going to move from there and we're going to go somewhere. Well, that's well, let me say this. With. I want people to look at um, the video that you and I did before the pandemic really became serious. And I said to you then that the coronavirus was going to attack, uh, attack Black and Latino people more than others. And I remember you said, well, really? why is that though? Yeah, that was early. Why is that? Yeah, this is, this is before I was sick. It, it was before it really attacked New York. 
There are several factors that mean that Black and Latino people are going to have more negative effects from the yeah, and you were talking about the health conditions. Uh, yeah. So if you are studying the statistics and you're familiar with it, you could see the writing on the wall. Jabari, I did. Listen, listen, Jabari. I have interviewed doctors. We have, we have. I know I brought them to all you. This stuff going on, <laughs> brother, where the doctors even came out and said that they fear that they not even using these goddamn resp respiratory, uh, what's the name of them? Respirators. The, uh, the respirators machine properly. They was learning as they go. They were sticking true. tools down people throat and killing people, brother. But, but Sonetta, that's true. Okay. That did happen. And you know why that happened? Part of the reason why that happened is because there were so many, I can tell you about the hospitals that I have contact with. Part of what happened is there were so many people that were going into hospitals. Remember they say you have to flatten the curve? Let me explain what that means. When you have a large number of people in a hospital, you tax the hospital's resources. So what happened is that when there were so many people coming in, you had to get doctors that, listen, to be able to actually put a ventilator on someone is a specialty from, pe from doctors who are trained to do that. But when you have so many people that are coming into your ICU that way, you got to get doctors that don't know, that don't know how to do that to do it. And so it is correct that there are several practitioners that said, I don't know if they're using it correctly. Because when you have a foot doctor trying to put someone on a ventilator, you got problems. But when you have a lot of people coming into the hospital, that's what happens. You've overtaxed the resources. So now those doctors that really know how to utilize the equipment because that's their specialty, they don't get to do that. So that's the problem with the way the numbers um, happen. The, okay, we got, very... we got Tommy back in the building. Okay. We got Tommy back in okay. the building. How um, can I send Jabari, or can I send it to Jabari or send it to you? Because I don't want to try and open it again. You What's can that? tell me where it is and I'll put it up. It's on YouTube. Look up this. You want to play a video? Yes, you said you okay. want to. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> it says Joe Biden warns of, and it may come up where it says predators on our streets. No. Joe Biden warns of. Mm -hmm. Predators on our streets. Predators on our streets. It didn't come up automatically, but I'm typing it in. Okay. From the America Rising Pack? Is that the one you want me to play? Uh, yes, please play that. Okay. It's only three minutes. Hold on one second. Uh, let me share the screen. And I hope you can hear it. Yeah, we can be. We can you see it. it? Yes, we see okay, it. Okay, I'm going to play it. that is accosting your son or daughter or my son or daughter, my wife, your husband, my mother, your parents. It doesn't matter whether or not they were deprived as a youth. It doesn't matter or not whether or not they had no background that enabled them to have or to uh, become a, a social or become socialized into the fabric of society. It doesn't matter whether or not they're the victims of society. The end result is we're about to knock my mother on the head with a lead pipe, shoot my sister, beat up my wife, take on my sons. So I don't want to ask, what made them do this? They must be taken off the street. That's number one. There's a consensus on that. Unless we do something about that cadre of young people, tens of thousands of them, born out of gridlock, without parents, without supervision, without any- can, can you stop it, sir? Yeah. Stop it. I, I'm going to play. I, now we notice what you're seeing. I'm just going to play it for them because my audio works. So I'm going to play it. it. No, they couldn't hear it. So let me play it. I was trying to turn it off. You didn't tell me. <laughs> I'm sure you're screaming. Hearing it. Just let me play it. It sounds better than yours. Let me play it. I just want you to know what you're seeing. Now, okay, that, they, now that they know it exists. Yeah, now that they know it exists, now they can just listen to go me. Ahead. And you listen to it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Tommy. Tommy, hold on for a minute. You hear me, Tommy? Yes, sir. 
Hold on for a minute. Let me see something. Let's see how it sounds um, on my That way we can see it and we can hear it. I didn't know you couldn't hear it. I would have tried to turn it up further, maybe from the system instead of just from YouTube. Matter whether or not the person that is accosting yeah. your son or daughter or my son or daughter, my wife, your husband, my mother, your parents, it doesn't matter whether or not they were deprived as a youth. Mm. It doesn't matter or not whether or not they had no background that enabled them to have to uh, become a, a social uh, become socialized into the fabric of society it doesn't mm. matter whether or not they're the victims of society the mm. end result is they're about to knock my mother on the head with a lead pipe shoot my sister beat up my wife mm. take on my sons so i don't want to ask what made them do this mm. they must be taken off the street that's number one. There's a consensus on that. Unless we do something about that cadre of young people, tens of thousands of them, born out of wedlock, without parents, without supervision, without any structure, without any conscience developing, because they literally, I yield myself three more minutes, because they literally have not been socialized they literally have not had an opportunity. We should focus on them now. Mm. If we don't, they will, or a portion of them will, become the predators 15 years from now. Mm. And Madam President, we have predators on our streets that society has, in fact, in part because of its neglect, created. Again, it does not mean because we created them that we somehow forgive them or do not take them out of society to protect my family and yours from them. Woo. They are beyond the pale, many of those people. Woo. Beyond the pale. And it's a sad commentary on society. We have no choice but to take them out of society. And the truth mm. is, we don't very well know how to rehabilitate them at that point. That's the sad truth. I'm the guy that said, Rehabilitation, when it occurs, we don't understand it and notice it. And when we, even when we notice it and we know it occurs, we don't know why. So you cannot make rehabilitation a condition for release. That's why in our system, there's the federal system, you serve 85% of your time. It's a shame, but we don't know how to rehabilitate. But there is a consensus, and I will cease. A, we must make the streets safer. I don't care why someone is a malefactor in society. I don't care why someone is antisocial. I don't care why they become a sociopath. We have an obligation to cordon them off from the rest of society, try to help them, try to change the behavior. That's why we do in this bill. We have drug treatment and we have other treatments to try to deal with it. But they are in jail, away from my mother, your husband, our families. But we would, be being, we would be absolutely stupid as a society if we didn't recognize the condition that nurtured those folks still exist. And we must deal with that. Okay. Now, now, hold on real quick, real quick, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> I've been played this already on my show, I think, last month. And I'm telling you, this is why... Oh, hold up, hold up. This is why I said Trump to me is more transparent because this motherfucker here, he is a hitting racist Jabari. How you shaking your head? This is how he feel. And he said this speech, wait, let me finish brother. He said this speech way before Barack Obama put his ass in that office, in that seat. Barack Obama knew exactly where he was coming from. He knew what he was. So Jabari, come on, man. Hold on, wait. Hold on. You have to let me finish because remember, I've been gone. I just wanted to show him something and then Go I want to hold on that. See, uh, if, if, I, if I may, see, this was what he used, the speech he used to get the crime bill passed. Remember, Jabari said, oh, it's not about the people. It's about their economic situation. Well, the white man that you want me to vote for over the other white man, he said, I don't give a shit what caused them. He even went as far as said, I don't give a shit if we caused it. They mm. are beyond the pale. 
They need to be off the streets. They are predators along with, and remember, this wasn't just him taking out a full page ad in the newspaper after the verdict had been uh, given. No, this was a man who delivered this speech, which allowed him to be able to pass the bill that put more blacks in jail since slavery. Listen to that again. The 1994 crime bill, this is what he said on the Florida House or the Senate to be able to get it passed. And he said this about black folks. And you think I'm supposed to vote for this man? And somebody might say, well, that was 93. Well, again, Donald Trump has never done anything to black people like this at all. He's never set any policy for government. This man did. Also, when you go back to what he said to uh, Charlemagne the God inside of the interview, this gives you more in depth of where his mind was. He wouldn't even answer that man question and felt like you didn't deserve an answer. He felt like black folks don't deserve an answer. And this wasn't 93 or 94. This was a month ago. Now, let me give you something else. He brought up Donald Trump being um, accused of rape. Did he not know that Creepy Joe was accused of not only rape, but several women, just as much, but there are accusations of pedophilia. And I can show you several videos of a young girl trying to get away from him as he keeps rubbing on the young girl. Let's go about that one. But let's go, uh, if you don't mind, and I'm about to be finished. <sighs> You're about to show another video? No, no, no. Trump's, uh, Joe Biden said he doesn't want his kids going to a racial jungle. Can I respond to this before but, you go to the next section? No, because you told me I couldn't. No, you brother, you had more than three minutes. We had three minutes. You just played a three minute video. Now you've been speaking for three minutes. Y'all been talking since I've been gone. Am That's I because yo, 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 stuff ain't Jabari, working. Jabari, <laughs> let the brother finish. You're going to get the mic, Jabari. I just like I tell him, okay. you're going to get it. I'll wait, I'll it, wait. Brother. Oh, wait, go ahead. I'm able to show my points and ain't said nothing smart about him. A little sarcastic remark. Oh, come on. I haven't. Yes, you have. Tell me. Brother, the yo, let's me. stop, man. Go ahead, Tom, Tommy. Just go. I'm just giving facts. Go ahead, so, Tommy. Here we go. Let, let's, let, let's finish. Joe Biden, who said he didn't want his kids going to a racial jungle. You can look that up yourself instead of me trying to show you on the screen. Everybody needs to find these things for themselves. This so is why I said he's worse because he he is a hitting racist. He's a worse Arletta, goddamn Can you man. let him do his stuff so I can respond? When, when Donald Trump said grab him by the pussy, he was talking about they consensually let him do it. He didn't say rape anybody. And last, Donald Trump does not control the uh, coronavirus protections. Do y'all know who controls the coronavirus protections? Each state. Oh. Tell them. Tell them I lied. That's all you gotta do. Tell them I lied. Tell them I lied. Remember, you told me I was being emotional. Now when you act emotional, it's okay. I want to apologize for my internet and I want to apologize for raising my voice because I don't think this is the way to hold a damn debate when people sit there and just try to irritate you, which is all Jabari did. He <laughs> sat there and tried to irritate me by make smart comments. All I do is make comments about what we're talking about. So I fell into the trap. Can I respond now? Yes. You're done? Okay. Okay. Now, Jabari, I'm, you support I, Joe Biden though? You supporting Joe Biden on his presidential joint? I'm, I, you know, honestly, I truly believe that we need to evaluate both candidates. I do believe that if my choice is between Donald Trump and Joe Biden, I will vote for Joe Biden. Oh my God. But I want you to hear God. something very clearly. I want you to hear something very clearly. Um, I am not a Biden fan, but our boy Tommy is a Trump fan. <laughs> So I want you to understand that what I am suggesting that black people do is make a calculated decision for which person is going to actually advance our aims further. Neither Biden or Trump are black revolutionaries. They're both old white men. I'm suggesting that black people make a tactical decision. And I want you to hear that our brother Tommy wants you to actually focus on what Joe Biden did. But when I tell you about what Trump did in the same era, he says it doesn't matter. I will actually say to you that Joe Biden should be continually challenged on his 
um, advancement of the of the crime bill. He, we need to continually challenge him on it. On it. Continually. I'm not giving him a pass on the crime bill. I'm saying that because he was involved in that, black people need to extract more from his platform. That's what I am saying. By the way, you should also be clear that Joe Biden and many other leaders who voted for that bill actually apologized for their support of the bill. And we have Donald Trump who called for the murder of five black and Latino children and who have been exonerated by DNA and he won't even apologize for that. We are not talking about the same thing. We're talking about one man who says I made an error and I'm trying to do better and another man that says F black people. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. And with regard to snide comments, Tommy, you make a lot more snide comments than I do because I'm at least the one, this is the first source you showed. I showed you a bunch of them. A lot, all of what you've been talking about is are, are your ideas and your musings that go on in your head. That's all you've been doing. And then when I call you on it, you say, you attacking and you're being sarcastic. I'm not being sarcastic. I'm being straight up and calling you on the lack of sources. <laughs> That's not sarcasm. You questioned what a black man should do. You questioned my blackness. Go back and listen to the tape. You questioned, you said a lot of things that I just ignored because I would rather talk about the issues. But I'm gonna say to you that I believe that we should hold both candidates accountable. And I think that if you have looked at Donald Trump's response, his time in office, you are going to see that the Trump administration is a dumpster fire. That's what you're going to see. And I want you to look at several different things. How about we look at the, the judges that Donald Trump has put in? How about we look at him weakening environmental laws? How about we look at him dismantling the education department? How about we look at him destroying the rules that protect people who are being discriminated in housing? He did that too. How about we look at his administration dismantling consent decrees? Do you even know what a consent decree is? See? I want you to tell us about a consent decree because that's one of the major things that I wanna, I wanna critique Trump on. And whenever I talk to these Trump supporters, they never talk about what Trump has done around consent decrees. I want you to speak to that. So there are many things that I think that we should critique both of these men on. I'm not saying that Joe Biden is without, um, that he's uh, our victor, our challenger, our champion. I'm saying if you look at both of them, even if you read their platforms, you are going to understand exactly who will actually be better for black people. And we're gonna have to hold Joe Biden accountable. By the way, I want you to see this, by the way. Jesus Christ. You remember the video that was just played and I said it was some America Rising pack? Right. I want you to understand that Tommy, the reason why Tommy is going there is because he is reading the Republican playbook. Do you see what I'm highlighting? Mm -hmm. This is, that's who America Rising pack is. Do you think the Republicans have the best interests of black people? Then why is Tommy only citing the Republican playbook here? <laughs> did you see who did you see who that video was put up by? You hear this stupid son of America a Rising Pack. This nigga's an idiot. That, and and now he just called me the N-word. And yes. I'm not supposed to be upset. You haven't stopped being a so dick. I want you to now he's had enough damn hold time. On, I want hold you on, to hold, hold on, Tommy. I want hold you on, Tommy. Sorry. I'm hold on, hold time. You're you gonna be to able to go in. Damn time you put on this. Let's keep it respectful. Let's keep it respectful. He hasn't been respectful. So I'm throwing that shit out the window now. I want you to be a dick, I'm gonna be one now. Listen, Tommy, we could both turn it up. I just don't get that way automatically because I'm a priest. But we could both turn it up. Please don't let the glasses fool you. I ain't nobody trying to let I shit. I want you to up. understand something here. You've been wrong. This and you brother has a whole been bunch of stuff absolutely, wrong. he has been doing nothing this but lie. nursing at the teeth of the Republican Party. And he comes here to what? Black News 102, Sonetta Studios, wrong. to run their playbook. Been you than have to call been. him on this. Look at how oh. upset he got when I called him on it. Do you see how upset he got? If, I, if he wasn't doing wrong, that, family, if he Everything wasn't doing that, why did he just get upset? 
Okay, you're gonna be able to, upset you're gonna be able to prove it in a minute. He only got like a, a couple of minutes left. Seconds. Why I mean. did he do no, second, that? Second. I called him on it. He got seconds left. Let him go. Go ahead. Hurry up, Jabari, because he's don't listen. Sonetta, he has been in he's really been um uh inserting himself in all the things I've said in a way that's I'm gonna ask you whether you agree with me or not. You know we're not gonna agree, Tommy. We have two different sides here. I'm asking for you not to interrupt so much. Because I think that people need to hear what you are saying and they need to hear what I'm saying. I even offered to play your video. That's for your side. So let's at least hear each other. I want to hear what you're saying. And I, I think whether you agree with me or not, you should want to hear what I'm saying. The timer though. So all of those are- I only right. saw, because Sinetta's people were saying it. They don't even like me. And they were saying, okay, he's gone. Brother, brother, brother. I don't know why you're saying these are Sonetta's people. I'm yeah. on Sonetta's platform a lot, and I see a bunch of names I've never seen before. No, these I'm are not okay. Sonetta's people. All right, <laughs> yo, listen, it's time. Tom is on you. Um, go ahead, Tommy. All I'm trying to say is everything you said, there has to be a time in which a person can't just say things that are untrue. Like he said, look at where you're citing it from. He got it from this Republican uh, this Republican pack. Why would it matter where someone got evidence that 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 is against another person who did something wrong? It's a video. It doesn't matter who put the video up. That's insane that he even tried to deflect from what was said in the video. It was said and it doesn't matter who posted that video. That's the dumbest crap I've ever heard. Number two, since he wanted to say that, the Black Lives Matter, I told him what was actually on Black Lives Matter's website. He skipped that. So now you want to go to what this people, this person who put up this video when they're not the only ones who put it up. Just like Sonetta said, he showed it. So it doesn't matter where it came from. That's just like saying I learned five plus five from David Duke. So it ain't 10 because he said it. That is dumb. And then you're sitting up here saying these, the, the, uh, uh, well, well, well uh, Joe Biden, uh, he apologized. Listen to what he said, Sinetta. So Sinetta, I come and I kill one of your kids. Somebody else comes and they make a joke about one of your kids. I apologize, but the person who joked didn't. Would you be more mad at the person who joked or the person who did? Joe Biden's law has black men still in jail to this day. Nothing happened when Donald Trump said they need to be put in, they need to be put in jail and given a death penalty. Nothing happened. But you're more mad at that man when this other man has caused black men to die. They're in jail, right? That they were in jail and they're dead now. They died under a fucked up law and all the white man had to do was apologize and you cool with it? But the other man said, uh, these people need to be in jail and, and need to be murdered. They didn't, he didn't set a law, nothing happened from his words, but you care more about his words than what this nigga did? And you wonder why I said the man is stupid? Because I take this shit seriously. This man takes it as a game and he's misleading people. He's misleading y'all to believe that the words of one man is worse than the actions of another. That's insane. And I don't care if y'all don't like me. If you listen to this man, that's stupid. And he's insane and he's crazy. Y'all don't have to like me. But the fact is this man has destroyed black people. He's destroyed black family and he still got black people languishing in jail. And this nigga said, because he apologized, it's okay. Jabari, I'm giving you five, three minutes, just like him. Go ahead, brother. Your response. I, I want you to understand that it's interesting that he got really turned up there because he wasn't really saying anything when he was turned up. Uh, he brought up Black Lives Matter again. And I said that I wanted to see him show a source. He goes, Reuters, a reputable newswire that actually fact checks claims about George Soros. I could show you a dozen places where this has actually been, um, uh, actually been uh, uh, refuted. The reason why I mentioned um, America, the, the pack that he was referring to, is because I want you to understand where this brother is getting his information from. Where you get your information from has a lot to do with 
the ideas you have. And so he is continuing to read from the Republican playbook. I wanted to show you where he got it. Where, th that, that's what I want you to see. So if this brother wants to suck at the teeth of the Republican party, call him on it. That's what I just did. And don't get upset when I call you on it. We could both get turned up because what you have said is offensive. We talked about a brother that was killed by the police and you want to talk about black on black crime. And then you want to hold Joe, um, Joe Biden accountable for the crime bill when you were the one that said black people commit a lot of crimes. Based on your thinking, you think the crime bill should be there right now. You can't critique him when you're just saying stuff that don't make no darn sense. Based on your thinking, you agree with the crime bill. Now you're gonna critique Joe Biden when you're the one that said that black people commit more crimes, crimes than white people? You said that in 2020. Joe Biden said in 1994 and apologized. Where's your apology? Where's your apology, brother? We deserve one for the foolishness that you shop into us right now. For the fact that you've come here with Republican conservative talking points without sources. I still want you to show me how George Soros owns the Black Lives Matter movement. You've made a lot of comments that have no sources. And this is all because you have been trying to shift Black people to be in love with a rampant racist, misogynist, and a billionaire who has never had the interest of not just black people, but any people at heart. Brother, you have to be challenged on this. You have a big platform. And when you do those things that are dangerous to black people and someone calls you on it, don't then just call them the N word and start cursing. I caught you, I see what you're doing. And I'm going to call you on it all day long. OK, let's talk about um, Candace Owens, man. Where do y'all both stand on Candace Owens? Brother Tommy? Sometimes she's right, sometimes she's wrong. What is she right about, brother? Some of the things that she quotes some stats about um, either crime or what the Democrats have done. But um, if you look at it, to be perfectly honest, I think it's funny to hear black people arguing about which one of the, it's like slave masters. And we're arguing over which slave master is the better one. But black people arguing for white people. That's what's ironic. And all I wanted was somebody to tell me, since Donald Trump has been able to set policy, what has he done to hurt blacks? That's what everyone should ask. If you're talking about Candace Owens, I listen to some of the things she says, some of it makes sense. I don't care if somebody, I don't like them. I'm a little bit different than a lot of these people. I can listen to someone who I don't know or don't like. And if they're right, they're right. If they're wrong, they're wrong. I've called out Donald Trump on several things. I heard Candace Owens say something and she was an idiot. Then I also heard Candace Owens say something and she was really good. When she's really good, I can agree with her. When she sucks, I refuse. Same with Donald Trump, same with anybody. If we got people out here espousing things like your brother who's saying, just saying, forget the facts, that's crazy. And I don't want anybody to follow anyone who tell you this. I don't care how crispy you think I am or how whatever you think I am. If I say something wrong, judge me on that. If I say something right, judge me on that. Somebody said it's extremely rare he calls out Donald Trump. It's extremely rare that I big up Donald Trump too. I call out for black people to hold their vote. Don't be Democrat or Republican. You make them do what you need them to do, period. Y'all act like I just run around hollering this and that. No, I do not. If you're not doing anything, if black people use their voting block power, and, and here's what's funny. I'm saying nothing different than Malcolm X said. But because you don't like where it's coming from, you got a problem. Same as that man's bringing up the fact that the website, you don't like the website. But the fact is a fact. I voted for Barack Obama. I voted for Bill Clinton. I voted for George Bush once. I voted for um, Donald Trump. My record speaks for itself. I will sit and hold everyone accountable. 
We had too many people during the last election, black people tell black folks not to go vote. Candace Owens isn't telling black people to not vote. So for that, I will push her and say, good job, ma'am. Because we need more black people in the system. We need more black people put, uh, uh, identifying with politics. And we need black people to stop sitting up here telling lies to each other about politics and about the politician. Joe Biden set policies that destroyed us. I don't care what he calls me. He can't get around that. And until he can show me that Donald Trump did the same, then I think that one of them might be a little bit better than the other one. That's it. All right, Brother Jabari, I'm going to start the time over. The same thing. What is your stance on um, Candace Owens, Brother Jabari? Yeah. Let, let me say that, um, first of all, I have not heard Candace. I have not agreed. I have not heard anything that she has said that I agree with. Um, honestly, I don't listen to everything that she says. So I can't say that I've heard everything that she says. But whenever I hear her say things, I disagree with them. Um, Candace Owens is actually one of those individuals that is a hired gun. She's an opportunist and a mercenary. The Republican Party needs a few black faces and she's willing to be paid highly to do so. And so that is what she's doing. That's who she is. She is not in the interest of black people. Let's be clear that just as our dear brother did not want to discuss um, the police killing George Floyd and would rather talk about black on black crime, she, he, he's like Candace Owens' uh, older brother. <laughs> that's, what, that's what Tommy's doing. Listen, I mean, this. she actually said, here's the, the quote in the independent. I could show you the video, but that would take too long. Mr. Floyd was a thug, didn't deserve to die, but honoring a thug is irresponsible. That's what she said about a man who was killed in front of all of us by the police. She continually says things that shows that she actually has a problem with our community and we need to hold her accountable for it. For him to say, I agree with her sometimes, I agree with her, so I, stop it. You know that she is actually like you sucking from the Republican teat. And I'm gonna call both of y'all on it. Now, let's go further. He says that I didn't list policies that Trump actually has put in place that have hurt Black people. Actually, I did, but your internet access went down. So I cited several of them. So you did not hear me do that. I can do them again, but I will not do that with a minute left. I also want you to understand that whether Black people vote or not, someone will be elected in November. And so when you say that black people should hold their vote, what exactly is the strategy that you are suggesting? Are you just saying we should hold our vote and do what? The people that say that black people shouldn't vote, we should check them. I didn't say. Because you said that black people should hold their vote. Me hold it and give it to. And so uh, what I'm saying, you can clarify. Vote. That's what I heard. If you want to clarify right. afterwards, then clarify. But that's what I heard you say. You suggested that Black people should hold their vote. Someone is going to get elected in November. If Black people do not vote, then everyone else will make the decision. It's that simple. Elections are about choices. You must decide who will be better for your interests. And I want you to also understand something else. I can't see that, the time, Sonetta. Oh, OK. The time is done. OK. Say, um, listen, one um, sentence. One sentence. Go ahead. I want you to also understand that when you go to vote in November, it's not going to just be for president. There'll be many other things on the ballot as well. Okay, Tommy, I'm going to give you time to respond. And then I got the last final question because we didn't deal with religion. And I noticed you put religion on your joint as well. We want to get into some of that before we leave. Do you want to respond to what he just said, Tommy? The fact that we have people who keep talking and saying things that somebody didn't say, and that's their way of winning and then telling you to hold your mule while I do it. At a certain point in time, I'm gonna keep asking. Maybe black people could have respect, but then I'm watching some of the things that are being written in the comment section, no matter how many times I say something that's quite right. I'm just crispy and Uncle Tommy, and it won't matter what I say. And this is why people ignore black people, because black people won't listen to the truth because they don't like who they hear. They don't like, if they don't like the person, 
They don't care what they say. I specifically said, I hated those people who said for black people don't vote. So I said, I'm glad that Candace Owens is telling black people to vote. I said, we should hold our vote and see what they give us. It was simple. You hold it for the person. And the fact that y'all are being y'all 20s, 30s, no, 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 not the 20-year-olds are better. 40s and 50s, still talking like children. Well, crispy, I don't like you, crispy, 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 crispy. But this is why you are in the position you're in to where people just use you as fodder. Because when y'all hear somebody telling the damn truth, you'd rather hear from somebody you like. So when if you ain't hearing it from somebody you like, then therefore I'm gonna ignore it, even though it's right. I don't give a crap who says it. If it's right, it's right. If it's wrong, it's wrong. Why would you listen to a pretty lie? Cause that's all the Democrats have given you. Beautiful lies. They've never done anything for you. You want to talk about somebody making money. Al Sharpton made plenty of money. You want to talk about somebody making money. Jesse Jackson made plenty of money. All these people made money lying to you. But you okay with it because they gave the black talking points. You know, like Tyreek Nasheed, who tells you black folks is broke. But then when he get mad at you, he call you dusty. Who tell you white people are holding him down. But he live around nothing but white people. But it don't matter because y'all want to listen to what somebody says and because you like them, you're okay with it. This is why we keep getting screwed over. When a grown ass man will sit up here and keep lying when he talks and think he's cute when he does it. So much so he laughs every time he does it. Uh, Tommy, when you said that you could jump out the plane. <laughs> and he doesn't stop and say, why am I lying on this brother? He's not lying on me. There's no reason for us to lie. We should argue our points, and I understand that. But lying and then saying, well, because I got three minutes, I can lie, and then he'll come back and have to uh, address it. This woman is supposedly like me because she said this or that and the other. George Floyd held a woman at gunpoint who was pregnant. I'd call that a fucking thug. We can't hear you, Sonetta. Do you want to respond before I move on, yeah, Jabari? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, we're going to move on after this. Go ahead, Jabari. Um, Time is up. Uh, you know, I, this brother keeps saying I'm lying. I have not said, spoken a mistruth at all tonight. I, that's just not how I, ro I roll. I'm critiquing you for what you have said. And much of what you said is reprehensible. Now, he said that. He supported Candace Owens because she's suggesting that black people vote. But then he said, he's saying that black people should hold their vote. If hold your vote doesn't mean, if hold your vote doesn't mean not voting, then what does hold your vote mean? What he has to do now, is he has to explain what holding your vote means. Because- I did! In every, in every no, this a hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, has hold on, hold on, hold on for a minute, hold on for a minute. Someone says hold on, they hold on, hold on, Tommy, Tommy. No, fuck explain. that. Explain. No, listen. Explain and again. I can did it again. Listen, Tommy. Explain again right now what you mean by hold the vote. He to do it twice. This is bullshit. This thing is an asshole. Say no, it again. It's a damn debate by being a dick. Say it again, hold Tommy. Hold your vote. What you mean by that? Hold I your vote. I said, wait to see what they give you. Give it to the best candidate. The candidate that gives you the most. He heard me say that shit. Man, this shit is stupid. You a grown ass man. <laughs> Calm down, Tommy. You son of a bitch. I don't like nobody right. doing that shit. You disingenuous motherfucker. Oh, come on, Tommy. Like Calm down, down brother. Fucked up. It's because of niggas like him that we struggling. Motherfuckers lying all damn day. And y'all listen right. to niggas doing this. Calm down. Y'all have respect for this motherfucker. Calm, calm down. Y'all heard down. him do it. All right. All right. Calm down. Go ahead, uh, Jabari. It's on you now. I think it was Elijah Muhammad that said that when a man begins to curse, it's because he's run out of things to say. And so I can calmly say to you that this brother is cursing and yelling because I've called him on his strategy. He has not answered your question, Sonnetter, almost all night. 
He is playing a shell game. And now he wants to curse at me. I have not done that to him. And I think that if you ask virtually everyone in this chat room, if someone says, hold your vote, hold your vote means do not vote. What he's That's saying, what Jabari, means. Jabari, I think he's saying, no, wait, 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 wait. No, let me finish, hold let me finish, on, man. Let me finish. He's saying, hold finish. your vote to somebody is worth Listen. coming along to Listen. vote. Not I don't know, that. I think that's probably what but he probably- But Sonetta, Sonetta, yeah. you know how foolish this is? What yeah. exactly does that exactly mean? You only vote on one day of the year, basically. So holding your vote, you're gonna hold your vote whether you support someone or not. I have said all night long that I am not a Joe Biden fan, I'm definitely not a Trump fan, but I'm not a Joe Biden fan. I said black people should analyze both candidates and decide which will be better for black people. If that is what Tommy is trying to say, he said it in the most inarticulate way possible. So he cannot hold it against me if I hear him say, hold your vote. And it means to me that he's saying black people shouldn't vote. What are you upset about? Cause you don't know how to speak brother. When you say hold your vote, that's what it means. If you are saying that black people should actually hold the candidates accountable and say, what are you gonna give us for your vote? Then we agree on that. Why would you even use the term that everyone knows hold your vote means don't vote? And then get, go into a, a, a filthy diatribe against someone. When a man begins to curse, it's because he's run out of things to say. And I think we should expect this of him. He has been interrupting all night long. He has not properly answered questions. And he's just given you Republican talking points. When I call you on it, don't get mad at me, brother. You're mad at yourself. You're mad at yourself. And honestly, your community should be mad at you because what you're doing is irresponsible and it doesn't come from any analysis of the points. Then you call me a liar. What have I said that is a lie, brother? And I don't know why he brought T Tariq Nasheed up. Is Tariq Nasheed sitting behind me, Sonetta? What, what does this have to do with Tariq Nasheed? <laughs> why did he bring up Tariq Nasheed? He, uh, Tariq Nasheed don't live in my house. He don't live in Sonetta's house. Speak right. to the issues and stop with the profanity. And All right, unmute, unmute yourself, Tommy. Unmute yourself. Um, we're going to ask the question. Hey, Tommy, are you familiar with um, the being? Um, oh, I want. I want to say to you, I want to thank you for letting me come on the show. I'm not going to talk to somebody like this because this is a real serious issue. If y'all wanted to talk about the last something. question, I want you to ask. I, I, I want you to answer about that thing that took place where you at, Tommy, with the black militia group that's out there in Atlanta with them black boots and them black militants and you seen them army of men with guns. I want your stance on that, brother. What do you think about that? And why you wasn't suited and booted out there with them brothers, man? When they didn't call me number two, I'm all for the second amendment. I'm the one who carries several of damn guns. Yes, I know. Yeah. The one who has several of damn guns. And one of the main things I've been saying is telling black people to go out and arm themselves. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge believer in that. And you know what the Democrats are doing? trying to take those guns away from a group of people who without guns, they become more vulnerable in this United States of America. They become more of a target. And I will never in my fucking life vote for someone who's trying to take the guns away because the group who barely have enough guns to be able to protect themselves is gonna be the group that's hurt when they enact these policies. So if you listen to what the Democrats are doing, they're constantly talking about gun control. And how does gun control work in all of these liberal cities where they have the most gun control? We have the most violence. Mm. But I don't wanna sit and argue these points anymore because I actually see people dying every day. And I've had family members who's died from this shit. And I don't think any of this is funny when it comes down to us voting. I don't think any of this is funny. And the fact that y'all would rather sit here and make these dumbass jokes and shit instead of deal with something that's real. This shit is real. People are dying. It's not funny. It's not a game. So you can call me crispy as all you motherfucking want, but I ain't the one out there hollering hands up, don't shoot. So for as crispy as I motherfucking am, why don't you go fuck with some white people like you do me? Do that. Fuck with them white people with your smart ass mouths. 
But all y'all do is sit around and fuck with each other. You don't do anything. Talk shit and don't understand how to. I don't give a fuck how many Timmy's you call me or Blackies you call me or whatever the fuck you call me. Y'all the one out there running around the damn streets begging for white people not to kill you. You know what, Tommy? I think I think they call you that because they see that it bothers you. Exactly. It your skin. Hold on. Not, Hold on. Yeah. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. Mm-hmm. That's niggas' problems. But if they knew that that shit didn't bother you, I think they no, wouldn't no, even no, be no, saying no, that no, shit. No, no. Black people are human gnats. Do you understand what you just wow. said? You said that they do it because they know it bothers you. In a real discussion, why would you ever say, well, I'd rather bother the person who's speaking? Think about what you just said. Mm-hmm. By that logic, if a white man just sit around and call black folks niggas, stop getting mad. You know why black folk, white folks call you niggas? Because they know it bothers you. How, how, you don't think they want to see you turn up? But you don't think they want to see you turn up like that, Tommy? Okay, <laughs> so, so they put that shit in there just Sinetta, so you can spaz out. Sinetta, am I wrong? Do white people call you a nigger because they know it bothers you? Yes or no? Yes. Well, so they call you a nigger because they might body? lynch you. It's more than bothering you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Seriously. Seriously. If it was just about bothering us, I think the word would mean less. I don't, think, those, I don't think that woman who called that woman a nigger in the store hung her. That's she one person. It. Have I don't, you I ever have no you been ever call nobody wait, a nigger and hang wait, 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 wait. Let's first of all drop pull it, drop it down. I, I, right? I, I, we can talk. talk. I, him, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk to him because okay. that has no respect. That gets you out of it. You don't have anything else to say. That's fine. You run out of road and you decided you're gonna run. So do it. I'm yes, with that. Not running. I'm you, good with that. But I don't you ran remember. out of road and you're running. Yeah. That's fine. You live in remember that. That's fine. You ran out of road and you're running. That's all. Folks, let's be, let's be clear. And this is the thing, Sonetta. This is the thing. We both knew. Mario, you can't be making my guests run, man. What we you both doing, man? knew. We both knew before this started that there was a good chance that Tommy was going to run away. The people in the chat room who have seen him knew that there was a good chance that he was going to run away. Because when you spot talking points and someone calls you on it, do you see how upset he got? But but I his, I agree I with call. Tommy. I think on um maybe two of the points that he made, I agree with him with the Joe Biden Jabari. I'm disappointed in you. As far as you talk about, you still going to go for Joe Biden when he is the he be, he is so dangerous to Barbie because he's secretly hiding his racism. Sonetta, he talked to. Brother, you can say what you want to say, just like when you talked about the, the virus and the coronavirus, you have not convinced me on that either. But I'm saying sometimes you got to say, Jabari, you know what? You got that one. You got me on that one. When, especially when you looked at that clip. Listen. You listen. heard him calling our people predators. And I we got you to stop him. And, and for Barack Obama to still appoint him. That's crazy to me. Sonetta. Yeah. Sonetta. Sonetta. Go ahead, brother. First of all, I am not saying, I have said from the beginning that Joe Biden should be held accountable for what he said and what he did in 1994. Mm-hmm. I'm not his cheerleader. I'm not on his press team. Yeah, but you did say you would vote for what him. What I am Trump. saying is Trump I have- is, Trump listen, is transparent let me and we finish. know what we're going to get with Trump. Let Go me ahead. finish. Go ahead. Go ahead. I am analyzing what both of them will do, their platforms, who they say they'll appoint to, um, to the court, what they say they will do for education, what they say they will, I've I've analyzed them both. And it is very clear to me that Donald Trump, he is in a different league. Joe Biden will be a much better president than Donald Trump. Did he do something regrettable in 1994? Yes. Should he be held accountable for what he did in 1994? Yes. Should we bring it up every single time and say, you did this and now you have to make it right? Yes. All of those things. I don't have to defend what he did in 1994. But you have to understand that this brother, Tommy, is willing to give Donald Trump a pass for saying that five Black children should be murdered. But he doesn't, he, he wants you to hold accountable someone who created a bill with literally hundreds of other legislators. And hundreds of legislators voted on that. 
Donald Trump put those ads in the paper by himself. He wants to ignore that. And he's still saying that those men should be in jail in 2016 after they've been exonerated by DNA evidence. If you look at the things that Donald Trump has done. Some of them them compute said, um, Sarnetta is trying to hold up Tommy because of his supporters. If the nincompoop been watching me, he would have been saying, he would have seen me yesterday or the day before yesterday with me and Iron Sheik, where I was talking about the same thing with Donald Trump. So I don't know what he's talking about. But I do I've think- I've been saying this and this having is, his feelings this is what way I before think Tommy sometimes. got here. So you a, a nut nincompoop. Let me say it another. Let me say it another way. I'm your brother. You know that even if this YouTube stuff wouldn't happen, you we'd be brothers, right? Right, right. So I could, I could, I could say I'm upset with you or chastise you and say you did something wrong, and you can do that to me too, because you're my brother. You're not, our relationship's not going to disappear because of that. Right, right. But I think that sometimes when we come on this platform, because I'm on your platform a lot, you try to give the the guest a little bit more leeway. I understand that. That is what he's referring to, and sometimes it upsets me too. I understand what you're doing. Yeah, it's I get right, what man. you're doing. Sometimes I just got to be because, fair. It's not I because be fear when the brothers come on here. It's not because yeah. you don't like Jabari. You're my right. brother. I know that. You're my right. brother. I get it. Right. And when Jabari but on wrong, the same token, if Jabari wrong, I got to let Jabari know. But on, but on the same token, you. yeah. But when he's yeah. when the other person's wrong, as long as you just let them be wrong, because you think that the audience is going to recognize <laughs> that they're wrong. I know uh, that's what you do. There's too many people that call me um I'm biased all the time. Yes, I, I that, get Jabari. that. But so, you have to understand that when you do it, I'm going to still call you out on it. Because when that brother wasn't answering the questions, I saw your face. You were like this. You were thinking, damn, that's I not think he, I think he got you, Jabari. I'm going to tell you. Please. I think he got you on the Joe Biden. Please. And I think he got you on the killing. What's the killing in, in, the, in the ghettos. So in the, the so I'm not telling you that's what I feel. Let me I say this. I could be wrong. I could if be wrong. If you feel that way, it's because you followed the wrong cup. And when he opened it up, there's no ball there. He was playing a shell game. The question, Sonnetter, was about how you feel about the murder of, of George Floyd. And he wanted to make it about Black people killing Black people in neighborhoods. Now, I guarantee if you look, if you scour Tommy Sotomayor's life, you have not seen him do anything about murder and, and crime in our neighborhood. If you scour my, if you just do a Google search of Jabari, you're going to see I've been involved with that issue for nearly 30 years. Yeah, he I really doesn't have any right. He doesn't have any right to challenge me on that. I'm not quite I'm not saying that we should ignore black people in our neighborhood that have indulged in criminality and now killing people. But the question was not about black people who are criminal. The fact that you could connect the murder of George Floyd to black criminals, that is irresponsible. That's what he did. That's what he did. And that's why I called him on it. That's the same thing that Candace Owen did. George Floyd is a thug. I'm not going to celebrate him. That's a Republican conservative talking point. I want you to understand. I'm trying to explain it to everyone. I knew he was going to say that because that's what they say. They've been taught to say it. And that's why I showed you that the video that he was showing you comes from a, a conservative pack. The reality is that Joe Biden should be held accountable for what he said. But the very fact that Tommy Sotomayor is doing nothing but reading conservative sources tells you where his allegiances are. He didn't read to you what Michelle Alexander said when she critiqued Joe Biden and and, um, Hillary Clinton on the crime bill. If she did that, I would have been like, well, I agree completely. But he showed you something from a conservative pack because that's where he's getting his information from. That's where his allegiances are. Not with us, these people in the hood, these people in your chat room. His allegiances are with white conservatives. That's what he's doing. And so what I am doing every single time when people like him and King Face do that is I'm trying to pull the curtain away so you can see why they're saying what they're saying while still answering your darn question, Sonetta, that man didn't answer a question. He didn't answer a question. He just went into talking points. And when he doesn't have any more talking points, he runs away. That's what Candace Owen does. That's what King Face does. You saw how King Face didn't want to talk to me, how he was disrespectful. And how in the world could Tommy Sotomayor say I'm disrespectful with the things that he said? 
See, the reality is I'm prepared for his disrespect. And because I am guided by a principle called ma'at, I'm not going to go there with him. He's going to be, he's going to say vile things about me. Let me ask you, Jabari. Um, did you contact the brother today? You Ooh. know what I'm talking about? The brother that's the documentary, the film. Yes. And what's going on? Well, well, we should talk about this off camera. because I, I we think have Saturday sure. still should be going down because I don't think well, it's going to rain. You want to do Saturday? Yes. It, it was supposed to be Saturday at five. And some of the sources say it's gonna rain, some of the sources say it's not. So why don't we do this? Let's look at Saturday at five, and if it looks okay at three, then we do it. Yes, it's gonna be all right. Okay, so if it's right, fine man. at five, we do it. So yo, I wanna thank you, my brother Jabari, for coming through. I think this was powerful to me. I like it. I think both of y'all brothers got it in. Now listen, uh, Sonetta. Yeah, go ahead. Sometimes you have to understand, I like when I beat someone up and they run away. I mean, <laughs> if I'm punching somebody and they run from my punches, that's not him being stronger than a man. I can't speak to a man like this. Please, that's him running out of room. Would you go on to Tommy's channel? And, and of course I would. Bill? Okay, okay. Of course I would. He, he might end up bringing you over. And, Please, and of course I would. And I wouldn't run away. Right. Listen, one of the things that people have to know, you know this about me, Sonetta, I will talk to people anywhere. When they were saying messed up things about me and I was getting death threats, I was still in, I went to ISUPK and, and spoke there mm -hmm. twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever happened, didn't Tazari Akposa come to you again? Oh yes. yeah, the corona thing happened, that's right. The corona thing happened. But he, you know, Tazari me. You know, listen, anyway, just hey, know. Tazari had a debate last night, man. You gotta, people, I'm looking at the comments and they saying Tazari got his butt whipped in them comment sections, man. You just, you just need to know that that's the kind of stuff that's going to happen. And I want to say something, Sonetta. I'm on your platform a lot. I watch your videos. There are a lot of people that are typing here that I've never seen before. Why? Family, you have to understand that there are people that are trying to shift your perspective. Do you understand that there are people? You have to be very cautious about where you get information from. There are governmental sources that are trying to undermine your understanding of the world. There are extra governmental sources like Russia that are trying to destroy what you- Hey, Jabari, uh, this is what I need you to do. Yes. I need you to talk to, um, oh man, the National Black Theater. What's the brother name? Um, um, uh, uh, oh goodness, I'm forgetting it right now. Yeah, uh, got an old Nobby, brain freeze. Brother, brother Nobby. Nobby. I need you to talk to him, see if you could get the uh, place on the ground floor outside for you and Jabari. We got to get that. We got to do me that and now. Garfield, you mean? You and, you and Garfield. You got to just tell me some dates. I'll reach out to him. Well, now, you tell me a date and then we can go with that date. Okay. We got to well, get I'll you look at and Garfield. Now, now and let me say get this that to you. going. I, would, I don't know what your Monday looks like, but I would really love, there is a brother that is a part of my shrine whose son was attacked by the police. Yeah, you told me that already. Yeah, so I want to be able to bring him for you to interview him. I'll be here with him too, so we can talk about what happened. It happened in Arizona. We need to know more about these things going on in our community. And he's actually, he has a major lawsuit. Mm. We need to get as much publicity um, from it. And I'm going to say to you that I don't believe he's spoken to a lot of media sources. You should have the exclusives on that. When do you want to do it? Monday. At All right. Seven. You got to be ready Monday, Jabari. Monday no at way. seven. Monday at seven it is. I need you to call Nobby to see what we could do for that place over sure. there. And let's get it right away. Sure, 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 sure. All right. Peace and black power to you, my brother. Thanks peace, for coming. Peace, family. Through. All right. Peace, Jabari. I'm out. All right. All right, family. Um, What do y'all think? What do y'all think about that? Came through, it was powerful. Try to bring y'all something nice every time. And we're gonna close out. Bars. 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 Peace to the God. God. Inshallah. Yeah. 
I was built with a nat turn to mind the battery these beasts. Heart built like Malcolm X with Kaepernick knees. Shotgun to the cipher, double tap MCs. Moonwalk on these niggas in my football cleats. Blueprint to take over. Nigga, I thought this was over. I stay woke like I'm from Queens and heard the bridge is over. Like I'm from Brooklyn, two to your chest, casting over. When he get hit with that venom that's spewing out the cobra. Niggas told Barack they wanted me to get released. But they could have freed Osada with a couple tweets. Fuck this woke shit, wanna blow, this what you need. A tatted bitch that can twerk and then start a couple beefs. But how can you be God if people don't believe in you? Turn cheeks to the ops, not believable. Go hard, I'll break in jail just to eat the food. Single file, ball and chain, dress like Beetlejuice. Niggas turn to house niggas, then they turn to Jesus. If I see him, I fuck him up for lying to our leaders. Step to him with the cannon, look like he on cheaters. Make it look like Central Park when they come see us. Jews don't like blacks, nigga, you can ask them. Don't care if the Holocaust did or didn't happen. Niggas say that they are God until they see the cracking. Buck 50 the whole block, call it OG Mackin. I love cold, I'm just glad that I'm around. Honestly, I wouldn't give a fuck if I let Nas down. Still missing that 99 Nostradamus sound. With my family, I don't give a fuck about these other clowns. Step out to the label with the gall. Hit the pizza spot and spit on the floor. Radio Raheem, ain't no black people. People on the wall, shoot up the White House and Fox News, fuck them all. Tell LeBron to retire the way I ball Laker. I ain't checking in the shit cause I don't talk to traders. I know your girl need a help, but now she owe a favor. One phone call to swap your team, Cole's neighbor. I don't care who the best is lyrically. Blacks are more likely to get the death penalty. What do you think it says to black kids mentally? Bow to that white Jesus on the wall, or is it me? This is real, dog. Take cake and bear witness. There'll be two Different outcomes if we get sentenced. Boycotting the Grammys was no gimmick, but we fought just so Macklemore could win it over Kendrick. Bullshit. Christ, we don't hate you because you're white. Nah. Look at your history. We should have killed y'all on sight. Kill you shouldn't all. be punished for what your ancestors did, nah. but you'll suffer like they should have if you don't make it right. Yeah. We're just not alike. Nah. You never sacrifice <laughs> until I get a check. A cracker shouldn't hold the mic. Being black, your soul can be cold as ice in a white world. Gotta stay hard, Dolomite. I think Eminem, the whites represent Hitler. We'll stand up against that crescent star like Rizza. I should put Jordan Lucas and a cross face crippler for thinking that a song can make you crackers get the picture. Uh, the gall. Why y'all hating on Jamal when he paved the way for crackers like you to be a star? Yeah, the gall. Why y'all hating on Jamal when he paved the way for crackers like y'all to be stars? Uh,